Yo, what the heck is going on, everybody? It's your guy, Snowbike Mike, back again with another Kind of Funny Games afternoon stream. And it's Thursday, and we're playing Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. It's the finale. But guess what? Blessing Tam and Barrett, they're off. It's just me and Kevin. We're going to play it without him, Kevin. We're playing it without him. Okay. No, I'm just All kidding. All right, yeah, big tough I'm guy over here. I'm just kidding. You know Do it. that. Just play without him. Do it. You want me to press start right now in the game? Hit it. No, oh, dang it, I'm not in control, Kevin. I wish I was. Yo, what is going on, everybody? How are you doing? Welcome back to another Kind of Funny Games afternoon stream. It's Thursday, and we got a special for you. I know a lot of you in chat were saying, yo, I thought last week they said they couldn't do Metal Gear Solid 3, and we were all sad and upset that we couldn't do the finale a week after week. But guess what? We moved some things on the schedule just for you to make this all happen. So today we will finish Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater with Barrett's blessing. Kevin, myself, and our special guest, Fox himself, Tam, has returned after two weeks of moving from the UK back here to America. He's back to give us all the insider knowledge and all the cool details that you want to know about throughout the video game franchise series. So it's going to be a really, really good time, everyone. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling good and ready to rock and roll. Kevin, how are you? Little tired, little tired, but I'm feeling yeah, pretty good. Yeah, a little good. tired. Yeah, a yeah, little yeah. tired. You know, it's Thursday. The week is wearing on you. You know, you're one day away from feeling that just glory of, oh, it's the weekend. It's time to have some fun. But you got a special one tonight. You're going to go see Halloween, right? I am. Yo, so that's, that's going to be, be a good fun. time, right? Yeah. We've got guests staying at the house. That's exciting, mm. too. Um, and then Friday's right there. Friday's right Whew. there. Just got to make it. We're right there, y'all. We're right look, there. Do you, see, you, you can see Cecil. I don't think the kids can. Yeah, they can't. But look at Cecil there. In the, the right right there, just napping. He's just napping. Look at him. He's just napping. Look at that dog just napping Look at him. Right He's there. just napping. What a living his He's best life. He can we get a, Can we get a Boris the Tortoise cam? Can we get a Boris the Tortoise cam? What's he, you what's know, I bet you I can slap that together real quick. Slap, slap that together. I always like checking in on Boris the Tortoise. But while our friends are setting up over on the post show, we got to kick it over here and prepare for today. So I'll get through the whole rigmarole. Then we'll jump in. We'll welcome everybody. We'll prep for Metal Gear Solid. But let's get through the rigmarole. Hey, Kind of Funny Best Friends, we're back again for another Kind of Funny Games afternoon stream. That means we're streaming to you live for two full hours, but we could make it three with your support. Don't forget, here on twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games, you can hit that follow button. It's totally free, and it would mean the world to us for your support, and it would help fill up that bar. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on a Kind of Funny Games stream, whether we're doing Kind of Funny Games daily, whether we're doing a fun gameplay stream, or we're doing our Friday night horror nights throughout the month of October. You will always be notified and be up to date on when we're playing games and hanging out with the best community here on Twitch. Along with all of that, of course, you can subscribe. You can subscribe here at Twitch on the tier one through the three level and with Prime Gaming. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime or anybody in your life have Amazon Prime and you love that service, getting free shipping, getting Prime video, right, Kevin? What other things do you like about Prime? Uh, you get stuff you twitch <laughs> okay i like that i thought you were just gonna say like you like things getting shipped to your house pretty quick what else do you well, like well you mean you already Prime? said those things though you yeah, know you, you know i mean like what, you, what's you, the list you got Prime you stuff? called all the easy ones then you're like all right kevin <laughs> you go and it's like well i don't i, I first of all i'm not even i was barely listening because i'm trying to set this thing up <laughs> i Look, love it i love it yeah you what you got for me what you got for me you trying, <laughs> That's that's what I got for you, trying. I love keeping I love keeping Kevin right on his toes. That's right. Camera, you just never camera. know with me, num num meats. You could be on the show, and all of a sudden, I'm just gonna pass you the rock and just expect you to be ready to rock and roll with it. You know what I mean? There's no lead the up. The rock. To it, Kevin. I don't know that we want to call anything the rock. No, I mean it's the rock, Kevin. I pass you the rock. You got to do something with it. Andy would know. Andy would get it. I mean, it sounds like you're talking about drugs. I'm just, oh, you think I'm passing you the crack rock, and I expect yeah, you to hit that? Yeah, I mean, that. That, that's what it sounds like you're saying. Oh, okay, Oof, okay, wow. okay, okay. This needs to readjust a lot. Oh, a Kevin, lot. you got to get out there and just got to aim it downward. What are you doing, Kevin? Well, I mean, I don't understand why it's so bright. What is this? Oh, oh, I'm not mad at it being bright. Oh, but I'm mad at it But of course, remember, being... if you have Amazon Prime, that means you get Prime Gaming, you get one free monthly sub to any broadcaster on Twitch. So use that sub here with us. You'll get ad-free viewing and You'll get awesome special channel emotes that you can use and spam up in the chat. Along with all of that, don't forget that we're now Epic Partners, meaning if you are buying V-Bucks in Fortnite, if you're 
customizing your car in Rocket League, or if you're buying anything off the Epic Game Store, please use our Epic Creator Code, Kind of Funny, at checkout. It's no additional cost to you. You can help support the team here at Kind of Funny in a new, fun way. We'll get a percentage of that purchase, and you can help support us here at Kind of Funny, along with Patreon, Twitch, and now Epic. You can do so many things to help support us here with the team. Don't forget, don't forget that we got to fill up this bar today so we can go for the full three hours. We can finish Metal Gear Solid 3. We can have some fun. We're going to rank Metal Gears. We're going to rank the game. We're going to talk about the villains. We're going to have some fun. Twitch chat, Twitch chat, I'm going to need y'all. So I'm going to get me a list of all the villains that we have fought in this video game so we can rank them the right way, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. let me know. Um, mm -hmm. Kevin, I think that's a good enough. No, we got one more thing. YouTube.com slash kind of funny place. Kevin, I'm happy to report that we are less than 60 subscribers away from 20,000 subscribers on our new baby YouTube channel. So please mm -hmm. do me a favor. Go on over to YouTube.com slash kind of funny place. Hit that sub button. It's totally for free and you can help support us there. Tim will be super happy. Kevin, you better find this tortoise. What is up with this camera right here? Kevin's gonna fix it. Kevin's gonna fix it. While I have my time with all of you, how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Are y'all excited for Metal Gear Solid 3, the finale? Let me know. Thank you to Lord Navarone, Luke Mania for the Prime Gaming sub. What's going on, my friend? Bob the Samurai, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. Shout out to Mom's Basement in the building as well for the subscription for 34 months. Andy would get it. Andy always gets me. Like, out of everyone, you think... You think me and Kevin would be more simpatico, right? We stream every single day together. We're in sync. We're always there. But like Andy gets me the most. Andy gets me the most. Then it's probably Nick. Then it's Kevin. And then everybody. Then, no, then Joey. Joey's up there in the top three. And then everybody else at the bottom. He's going in his turtle house. He's going in there right now? Yeah, he just went in there. God damn it. You know what you should do, Kevin? Go out there. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, really? It, it works. It works really well in, in it, the sunlight. It it's works very well. It looks great, Kevin. It looks very Cecil. good. Yeah, let's just get a Cecil cam, Kevin. Let's just get a Cecil cam. Look at that dog. Look at this dog, everybody. <laughs> Look at you all. <laughs> You're getting blessed with it right now. Uh, it's kind of funny <laughs> reacting to the DC Fandom on Saturday. No, we are not reacting live to the DC Fandom. The team will come back on Monday and live react to any sort of movie or TV stuff that we want to react to. And then me and Barrett, during our big special Arkham stream, we will live react to all of the games coverage. But you will not see us live react this Saturday to DC Fandom. Because let's be honest, when Greg's not here, nobody cares about DC. All right, Kevin, you know what I mean? Let's just be honest with each other. When Greg's not here, nobody cares about DSC. Look at this. Look at Kevin and this dog right here. All right, all right. So, have we are we gonna discuss Friday ever? Or? Cause like we keep not discussing it. You know what I mean? What's Friday? Uh, our Halloween stream. Oh yeah. Or, so I know. asked my chat last night, and they all seem to want to do PT with Blessing. So we're gonna have to make sure Blessing can do Saturday night, and if so, we'll make it happen. Okay, great. Um, I spoke to him, and I believe he can, but we can ask him when he comes here. Okay, we'll we'll double Did check Kevin him. We'll double moved. check him. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I did not move to a new house. I moved into one of our other rooms because Paula needed more silence, <laughs> and I was not equipped to give that to her. She said, "Kevin, you gotta leave, bro. You gotta My leave." God, look at him. He just does this, dude. He just comes in here and he sleeps. He's a sleepy boy. That's what he does. He's just going to yeah. sleep like that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I like that. I like that. When he's upstairs, he cries. And then Paula's oh. like, I have to let him out. Got too loud, Kev. Did I get too loud? Uh, Yeah, you can hear a little bit. Kevin, so <laughs> I have my calorie mate. It showed up. Of course, there's my calorie mate up there. But I also have one in my hands, Kevin. Mm, are you going to try it today on air? Live I think in front we're of the gonna, kids? I think we're going to try it today, y'all. Where is my voice coming through? Well, I'll turn I'm a little down. nervous about this, Kevin. This yep. can't be good. No. This can't be any good. This has to be Yeah, I don't think bad. you'll like it because you're kind of a wuss. You know what I mean? You're scared uh, you, of things. I, I was telling my friends, I was telling a story about putting the napkin on that place that you loved, Kevin. I hate you. You, I hate you know, you. Kevin took me out to dinner 
when I was down there. And I told Kevin, Kevin, I want to go adventure. I want to try new things. I want to go out and like, you know, incite my taste buds. He's like, Mike, I got you. He took me to two great places. I was like, Kevin, those are two awesome spots. And he's like, Mike, I'm going to take you to me and Tim's favorite restaurant. This is our favorite spot that. to go. We love it. Yeah, and I, I immediately looked at him there. and I said, napkin, never take me back here again. It was, it was a Japanese Donburi place. All right. <laughs> so they make rice bowls with chicken. Oh, my God. It was so good. Dude, I did said, you get a did you get a katsu uh, Donburi? Because, oh, my gosh. No, he, he got it. the he got uh, what what was it called? The the Ooh. basic bitch bowl is what they yeah, call it. Yeah, I mean, it. it's it's just simmered chicken. Because I was like, get the pork. The pork's really good. And he was like, mm, I'm scared of pork. I'm scared said, of pork. Take me to, <laughs> take me to in and out Kevin. That's what you I did say said. that. And then we didn't go to in and out Then we didn't go to in and out Sasha Don, that's what he got. Sasha Don, yeah, that's right. So good. Uh, well, yeah. welcome in to our Metal Gear Solid team. Hello, Barrett, Blessing, and Tam. How are you three doing today? What to do, baby? Feeling good. Feeling good. Ready for the oh. end. I missed a couple of episodes. I'd like to uh, formally apologize for no, the, abandoning the end you. already happened. We're, we're oh, you're done? Fight. No, you're yeah, done. Was, yeah, no. yeah, you were there okay, for that, okay, too. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I was there for that. I did you know, that for you, bless. That was really good, Kevin. That was really good. <laughs> it's just because I hit him with a quiet one earlier, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I also did the, what was it, the pain? Yeah, the, yeah, the pain. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, well, good. We're excited to have you back, Tam. We missed you for the two weeks. We're ready to catch up with you. We're ready to know about all the things we missed. And then, of course, we're ready for mm -hmm. the finale shared with you. Blessing, I know your throat is on the fritz. How are you feeling now? I've seen better days, Mike. No, I'm feeling I'm feeling good. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm embodying throat goat right now. And so yes. it yes. is what it is. Uh, I'm probably going to be more quiet this episode, but I'm excited to just you know be here and watch you guys go on this journey. I love that. And then, of course, Barrett, my man. How are you feeling today? It's the finale. You're here. I'm I'm feeling great. Like I was telling you before the the stream, you know, like uh, I beat Metroid Dread this morning. We're about to finish Metal Gear Solid Three. It's all today for me is all about a day of finishing video games, and I'm very excited mm. about that. Mm. Now, blessing. I have something in my hand. And I want to know. Did you get yours as well? Because I have my calorie mates. Oh, I got mine as well. Should I start on my camera? If you, if when Kevin, can you set up a three cam for me, blessing and Barrett, and we'll try these. Like you got to try yours last time. And we'll do that during the intro of all this. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, all right. That I can just great. turn off my cam if the if that's. Oh, easier there you go. No, no, no. Are you kidding? Okay. This is so. Yeah, I, you know, Come I have on. all this shit preset up. Kevin, Kevin, give me a dog cam. Give me the dog cam again. I Kevin. just give me fucking put cam. it away. I just put give it away. Me, <laughs> I just Kevin, put it away. Dog cam. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin it was really, cam. it was really cute because Lulu is uh, sleeping the exact same way on the pillow underneath my desk. So cute, these puppies. You know what I mean? Cecil. Ah. I bet she'd be totally cam. fine. I don't have it set up. I broke it down, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Kevin, get us the Cecil camera. Uh, okay, well, let's get it going right now. Welcome in, kind of funny best friends. We are returning to the big finale of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Of course, you have the man on the controller running us through the whole entire game series, Barrett Courtney. You got our experts, Blessing out of Oye Jr. and some more in the building, AKA Fox, and we got Kevin and myself joining them. But to kick it off, last week, we got to have Kevin explore the world of calorie mates. And now, me and Blessing <laughs> are gonna try it right on stream right now. Was that a crazy face right there, Blessing? Tell me. I, I like the smell of this. This smells kind of good. It's got, it's got a really good smell. Here's the what, thing. What flavor are we rocking with, uh, Bless? This is, cho this is chocolate. These are yeah. chocolate. These Everybody are chocolate, got yeah. chocolate. Everybody got chocolate. It's what Snake this, eats. Is this a Twix food. bar? This could be a Twix bar, I feel like. Okay. Oh. I'm very excited about kinda this. Kind of dry. dry. So kind of dry, Blessing. Mike's going to hate it's it. Dry. It'll grow on Barrett. Mm -hmm. And I have nothing for, I, for Bless. I, I, think have Mike's, one. I think Mike's going to like it. I think Blessing's so gonna. Barrett? I, I, I don't have any. I thought I sent you some. You want me to send you one? No, I'm okay. <laughs> it's good. I'll use company money. It's not a big deal. Right. Maybe for uh, maybe for extra life, that'd be a fun thing. To not bad. Me. Not like bad. Crunch. Blessing could use some sort of crunch or something. Very dry. Very dry. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Could use yeah, some yeah. sort of That's crunch. No, might be good with some coffee. Mm -hmm. you have, do you have I'll, a drink with you? If I had coffee, this would be banging. I have tea. Dunk it. Dunk it, you coward. On the tea? The tea is not, it's not suitable for dunking. Dunk it, what you kind coward. of tea you got? 
It's green tea. I got, I'm drinking green, oh, green no, tea. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. That work. I, I mean, you know, I, I got iced chai tea lattes. That would go well with this. Do it. Chai dunk it. Well. it. I want to see someone dunk it. I want to see someone dunk it. I'm enthusiastic here about dunking it. Do it, dunk it. Also, I know this isn't relevant to Tam. I just want to. Just want to show you. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I'm so excited for this weekend. I'm so excited as well. I got mine behind me. I'm just going to walk around my local neighborhood wearing a quarter of (laughs) hours. No, don't walk around your local neighborhood doing that. I'm going to go ahead and say it. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is a big one right there. I love, I I wish I had coffee so bad because I I would dunk it for sure. Do you not have a This sounds like it would taste, it would pair so well with coffee. Does blessing seem his? Does this camera seem off to anyone else? His sink? No. Bless, talk to me. My mom. He's tiny for me. So hello, hello. No, he looks fine on mine. All right, never mind then. Never mind then. I think it looks great. I'm I'm crouching. I'm, I'm really glad weird, he, I'm uh, glad he liked up. it. Bless. Yeah. I think it looks great. I'm gonna finish this. You should, uh, did you check how many calories there are in a single one of those? 140 per little thing. Okay, wow, cool. that's reasonable. Wow. Well, I mean, you have to remember it is for like calorie supplements. Yeah, it's supposed to dump. Yeah, it's no dumbass cat. Okay. What? Who's that? Just keep calling me a dumbass. He's blocked. Time Come out, on, Kevin. Time out. Time um, out. All right. Well, that was really fun to check out the calorie mates. We have a lot to get into because it is the finale of Metal Gear Solid Three. We haven't had you on for quite some time, Fox, and I've missed you a mm-hmm. lot of mystery mm-hmm. insights. And so we do need to catch up with you. And so our friend Nam Nam Eats out there in the best friend community has created us another Lale Lule lore with Snowbike Mike and the gang. And this one is going to catch us up to all the way to where we are right now. So what I want to do is play this and then let you, Tam, kind of catch mm. us up on the things we need to know about that we might have missed while you were gone. Okay. Kevin, run it. You look through your uh, switch to first person view since you got shot in the eye. Oh, oh, yeah. See that? Oh, see the right side? See the right shit. side? It's only one eye. Barry, Too if soon, you dude. cover your right eye and look, that's exactly what you see in real life. Whoa, Kev. Yeah, whoa, right? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> science, science, science with Kev. I'm uh, Kev. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. The whole army's after you. Yeah, they are, uh, they are not fucking around today. Ocelot's <laughs> here. Ocelot. Young you dumb. Gun full of gun. This is where it ends. It's the one that no, like the end you... was a couple of streams ago. Oh snap! Snap! No, it's jumping. Ugh, the bullet failed. Whoa! That's what happens when you save the bullet. I can't open. wait until they're best friends. Don't die. Keep that thing yet. loaded. Oh, it's on. Oh snap, bro! Now you oh God. know the sorrow of those whose lives you have ended. Go up and hug him. Dude, That's what he needs, a hug. This is a better Resident Evil movie than Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City right now. <laughs> like, that man, There's the like end. I should be blamed for the death of the end, all right? He died of natural causes. He died because he exerted himself physically. What you don't know, it was a sexual exertion. Whoa. <laughs> We did it. You have to shoot me. Oh. I can't. My. Shot of me yesterday. <laughs> I love that she has to have her big entrance every time. <laughs> you could use a towel. So could you. Just bang. All right, here you go, you. chat. You're allowed to be horny for three minutes. Oh no, his depth perception. <laughs> what a oh, fucked up way yeah. to show you that. Mike, you gotta tell me at what point I have to block it. It's not ready, bro. His Don't mind's on the mission, it. always. Are you all right? It's not time yet. He just lost an eye. I you thought she was it? licking his eyeball first. <laughs> Ew, that's not even cute. In Barrett's yeah. version of the story, she t- stuck her whole tongue into his oh, eyeball, oh. eyeball hole. <laughs> Bear, that's the way I saw it, too. That's the way I saw it, too. W4V stands for water dilutant 40. It's the 40th attempt. Is there a WD69? No, they stopped at 40 because they nailed it. Damn it. 
So what do I do after I set the scene? They, they didn't nail it because the they didn't get to the time. The oh, the butterfly. He's gonna catch it. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. This woman was found snooping around my underground uh -oh. vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The philosopher's oh legacy. Wait, what? To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources, and they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects, enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. This is a once-in-a-lifetime oh, battle. Let's make God it damn a it. good one. Yo, what is this fucking fresh armor, though? Look at it. It's Holy tight. Shit. It's tight. Look at this. Now, look at this, man. Right. Oh, shit. There we go. Hot I love this game. Let's fucking go. You're mine, son of a boss. Oh, what the fuck? Nah, it's too slow. There you go. Just there like that. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, he's giving me bullets. Do you hear me? I said shoot him. You're not my dad. Sorry, Colonel. Yo, let's go. Yeah, do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Ready for some more snake? Oh God. Yes. This song is so good. Ah, hit him. Oh my nice. god. Oh, this game, he's. I really okay. like Ocelot. Yeah. It's fucking dope. Very low key. How did you? The boss let me go. The boss? Why? I'll tell you later. Right now, we've got to get to the lake and escape. She's right. at the lake. She's waiting for the lake. Stupid attachment he put on his fucking gun. What was that? He should have known. Yeah, let get past That's his fucking boy! Son of a bitch! Damn. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, on, everybody. Come on. You're not, though. Come on, You're not. Come on, sorry, snake. everybody. God, this is so fucking rad. God, that outfit's so fucking cool, too. I know. Okay. Yeah, wait right, for well, the bridge. Oh, God. Oh, tough. I think an RPG at it will probably be fun. Oh no. Beautiful Barrett. Nice Barrett. I knew that there were two. I could do wow. one. Wow. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, epic. I fucking yeah, love this. That's Shepard. right. I'm not finished yet. I fucking love this game. I love this game so much. <laughs> Let's do it. But together this time, Kevin. Oh, they were doing the it together. Let's go. Nom Nom Eats, great job, great job on the edits. What an exciting one and a lot to talk about there, Tim, because we have been mm. all over the place in Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. We've gone from the dampest of jungles all the way to the highest of peaks through mm. the big building and now fighting Shagahod on the runway. What should we know? What did we miss? What cool tidbits can you give us and the team wait, as we head uh, to the finale? Quick, wait, quick question, quick question. Tam, do you have any insight on the ball grabbing scene? Like what's going oh, on? Yeah, so the ball, ball grabbing grab, scene grab was, uh, it's it's only implied, but Volgin and General Rykov were lovers. Lovers, uh, okay, okay. Right, yeah, yeah so. so you see it when you take General Rykov's costume. Vol uh, uh, Rykov is wearing some underwear and it has an electric bolt on it. That is oh. Volgin basically saying, this man's loins are mine. Um, sure, sure. So oh, they be banging. Wow. I, so I when, Vulcan, when they be banging. Yeah, they be banging. So when, when he grabbed uh, Snake's uh, junk, he was able to feel, he was like, 
this is a bit bigger than usual. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's like, that's not my man. Um, that's why they did that scene. Uh, it's yeah, also yeah. to establish like the, uh, the kind of uh, the sexual relationship between the two. Oh, but he was also banging Eva, right? My man's banging everyone. Like, he's, he's banging, banging everyone. everyone. Yeah, okay, anyone so can get it if you're wait, Vulgan. If you're on the, the face... Wait. The Vulgan's banging. Okay, the, I love the that. The thing, that even thing wasn't a lie, because, like, no, they had also No, I mean, said... like, Vulgan's an awful, awful person, so he's, like, exploiting everyone. Mm. 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 Okay, 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 okay. What else can you tell us? Uh, so, yeah, I, I kind of, I, I will admit that I didn't re-watch uh, the last, all of the last two episodes. I kind of, like, hurts. dipped in and it out. Hurts. It's, it's yeah. listen, man, I, I've, I've had a lot going on. It's been a, no, it's a tumultuous it. I, time no, in my it's, life. it's fine, it's fine. So, um, yeah. Yeah. You, I, I, like, if you have any questions, you can ask, the, based on the last, don't look at the achievements, uh, those, those often have spoilers in them. Okay. Um, based on the last episode, um, the one thing I wanted to kind of make sure that you got a good understanding of was the sorrow as a character. Mm. Um, obviously, that sequence is uh, amazing from a gameplay perspective because, as Blessing pointed out, if you don't kill anyone, um, no one is there uh, and you just walk straight through. Uh, the characters that are there, when they're shown dying, they do correspond to the way that you've killed them. So Insane. when you specifically break that character's neck, that broken neck character will be in there. So the one that was complaining at the start, my neck, was the one that Barrett broke the neck for. Um, you can use the revival pill uh, yeah, early on. So if you just basically get yourself killed, you can just do that straight away. Um, there's also a couple of things that uh, the Sorrow says that are interesting. Um, at one point, it talks about uh, Snake having light and darkness inside of him um and of also course. mentions yeah and when he's like wiling out and talking about all the dead um that the death that has been uh, inflicted he also says uh uh you will all be killed by your sons and not not your sons uh no your sons and your son's sons or something like that basically saying like you're all gonna die at the hands of your own progeny um and they will the same will happen to them um and then the relationship between the sorrow and the boss is kind of, uh, they talk about it, but it's very much, if you're not paying attention, you can skip over them. They were very, very close. They were, they were, um, they're not just like commander and soldier. They were, they had a close relationship. Um, they worked together and um, uh, the fear, once the Cobra unit disbanded, not the fear, the sorrow, uh, went to the Soviet Union and uh, the boss obviously stayed in America and then uh, the the, uh, uh, the Sorrow flipped an asset that I believe was an American asset to the Soviet side but that asset was actually placed there by the boss um, to root out who was trying to find this asset so that brought them head to head and they and um, they uh, had to basically uh sort out that scenario there's more to it but i'm not going to say what that is because you'll learn about it um uh but the reason they keep showing him crying from one eye his left eye and the thing breaking is because the boss shot him through that eye to kill him mm -hmm. um it, so they I, have yeah sorry i was just gonna say i love how much knowledge you have like you uh explaining that has filled in a bunch of like things that i hadn't thought about before so thank you mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they, they have, yeah, so they went on a bunch of missions together and they did like, um, they, they put, they basically, them two and the Cobra unit participated in World War II in a big, big way. I think it was like the Normandy stuff and during D Day they were together. You'll learn more about what their situation was, um, hopefully in the future. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the main thing you need to know going into this. Was what? The sorrow and the boss? <laughs> The Sora and the boss have okay. have a good relationship, okay. yeah, a close okay. relationship okay. that are ultimately, and like you heard her, um, you heard the Sorrow say like, to complete your mission you have to kill me, so he didn't fight her to the death, he let her kill him, which should make you think why why would that happen? Okay, you, okay, do you think I like if that. they did fight, like who would win? Oh, the boss would probably win. 
Yeah. Uh, the sorrow has the sorrow has the sorrow has little to no combat capabilities. Like he's not amazing in combat. Right. He's it's a psychological. Yeah. He's he's a, he's an empath. He has been. They mentioned that he can assume some abilities of soldiers by um, kind of communicating with them. But it's not like he can go from being a Joe Schmo to having boss like level of capabilities in combat. He can only. Mm. He can only get like take small things here and there and mainly he's an empath he's he's an information gatherer based on speaking to the dead what about i don't know if you were here were you here for the fury fight can we talk about that jabroni coming down from space and yeah so to burn the world down so the fury i believe was who went to space uh before gagarin um so the first russian to like truly be going to space like the, gagarin is held up as the one who did it for russia but before him it was the fury except his mission wasn't as successful um i think that's i think that's right and um on re-entry um there was an issue with the the uh, kind of rocket and it caught fire and um that is why and it burned him which is why he wears that suit and obviously on the way down, because of that experience, he saw the world on fire. So that is why he's constantly gotcha. talking that about wanting to see the world on fire. The, the way that he had put it, like when he came back, all he saw was the world on fire. And I thought that was supposed to be more of like a, an allegory for something, for like yeah. whatever he felt about the world. I was like, huh. Yeah, it's kind of like that idea of, you know, the, how they talk about you, they sent that dog to space and that dog was never the same again because it had seen oh. shit. Um, okay. It's kind of similar to that because, like, he saw everything on fire on his way back. And from that point on was like, I just want to see this world on fire again, partly because he wanted to recapture what he saw in space. Um, and that's how he believes the world should be um, in, its, in its natural state. And then there's the, there's the whole, like, you can hear the, like, ground control stuff and, like, all the, all the uh, kind of uh, communications that you would hear in a flight. Um, uh, mission Ground as you're fighting him. Major Tom. Tom, yeah, there you go. Ooh, um, he did say Major Tom. Yeah, so that was kind of like the main thing with the the Fury. Um, he was just kind of re trying to recapture that glory, and he was a character that wasn't given the credit he deserved for his space escapades. Okay, okay, I like that. Now, Bear, do you have any more questions for Tam? Buying a little more time so we can ask him about everything. I know it's been a long couple of weeks without him. So now is the time to mm. get everything out with Tam so we're all caught up and ready to rock and roll. We've done the Fury. We've yeah. done about Virgin Vogel and the underpants now. Yeah. Did you get the uh, Philosopher's Legacy? You understand what that is? So he's got a mini chip. Tell us about that. Yeah, so the Philosopher's Legacy is essentially a cache of unfathomable amount of money. And yes. it was pulled by... Uh, Four countries. Certain the, yeah, certain countries basically to to kind of so that they could create an alliance basically and it's enough money like i think they say to fight the war five or six times over yes. so for for the purpose of 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 this uh kind of story basically a lot of people a lot of countries chipped in for this money so that it could be used to develop certain things um gathered by it was all like put together by high secretive people in each of these nations which are called the philosophers and um this money is their legacy and it's a whole lot of money and as you can imagine a lot of these uh, different parties feel like they have claim to it but vulcan is the one who has it right like they had like a, i remember it was like the his dad had kind of like made it so that mm -hmm. like the russians could be fully in control of it and then that's how virgin vogel uh, was yeah. able to get it from him once his dad passed, correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly yeah. it. So that's why he feels he has yeah. ownership of it and he wants to, you know, use it for his own means. And the way the they kind of uh, instill dominance is through Shagahod. Yes, okay. And then just for a catch up there, when we got into the Virgin Vulgar fight, the boss took the philosopher's legacy, correct? When yeah. She so uh, she, out with it? yeah. So when when um, Volgan got the legacy and started working towards his plan, he contacted the uh, the Cobra, or what the Cobra unit, the leader, the boss, and basically sold her on the on his vision for the world. And her being a soldier was kind of like into it, and basically she became a a she decided to throw in with him. 
and so he handed he, he's obviously like I'm getting into this fight with this lad um, you're the next person who understands the vision uh, best so oh, you take snap. care of it okay, so like okay. she's, she's basically his lieutenant in this because mm. obviously um, she's got a yeah, lot of she's strength like the successor if in yeah, case yeah. Like, he dies or something like that yeah so she's if he's she's currently got the uh, capability to carry on the vision Wow, okay, okay, interesting stuff there. And now we got this weird dynamic, Tam, as we start to get towards the end. Mm. The boss lets Eva go, right? Yeah. Now she's at the lake waiting for us. Hoslot's like, yo, I'm taking orders from the boss now. F you, dad, as Barrett said back in the day. Yeah. Like, what are, what's the, I don't give away the twist, but like, are we gonna home up with this, with this so, chick again? Or are we gonna the, battle? The reason you know I mean? in that final fight, I believe, uh if i remember correctly like he gives you your weapon back yeah um, yeah, he throws that's you part, down your, yeah your gun. that's partly because um obviously uh before the fight begins the boss kind of looks at volgin and says like fight like a warrior um mm -hmm. or something like that um, yeah, and, yep. and, and, like, and i also think there, there seems to be some respect from from ocelot for um naked snake as well yeah so like ocelot's thing is like he he doesn't want to he doesn't want to take shortcuts he wants to prove his dominance like snake has thrown him on his ass multiple times yeah. so that's why he constantly is trying to get one on over him but do it in a way where he can brag about it afterwards and the idea of uh him throwing the gun and knife back to her is uh, back to snake is basically living up to that promise of fight like a warrior it wouldn't be fair um it wouldn't be right uh, if, if you know, Volgan's got electric powers and my man's got hands only. That's why he does it. And then Ocelot uh, kind of starting to act up a bit um, is partly because, you know, once once Snake shows supremacy, that that power, um, that uh, position of power is undermined in, in Volgan. Um, but there also is allusions to something perhaps more happening. Obviously, you know, the boss uh, is is now in charge of the philosopher's legacy, so we know what kind of person Ocelot is, and he is the kind of person to, you know, make the moves with the right people. Um, let's just say that he's, like, um, he's trying his best to be an honorable warrior. Yeah, he's yeah he's yeah he's trying to do that. Um, I won't say what happens or what what or how what we're moving towards because I just want you to experience it and um, okay. but you you will get resolution. All right, all right, all right. Well, I'm feeling pretty good. Barry, you feeling pretty good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. It, uh, I was telling Tam and Bless uh, beforehand, Mikey, that it freaks me out when I opened up Metal Gear Solid 3 and it took me directly to the screen because I forgot about Quick Resume. And I was like, oh God, like, it, because I'm not used to it, I was like, did I save properly? What's going on here? It was, it was a very nerve wracking moment where I was like, oh God, what happened? Quick Resume, the future, y'all. Enjoy Great. it. Blessing, in the back, are you feeling good? I'm feeling great. Any questions for Tam? Nah, man, I'm just excited to get into right. this. I love it. Kevin, final call, questions in the back. I love this so much. I'm so ready. I'm That's so ready. That's what I like to hear, y'all. The stunning conclusion of Metal Gear Solid 3. Snake Eater is about to go down right now. Barrett, let's roll it. All right, so we're like, we're like we technically already started this fight with the Shagahod, so this will be uh, interesting to go back in the middle of right here. All right, here we go. Wait, what happened? Oh, he's got to reload. Shit. Oh no. Damn the Shagahod, super mm -hmm. dope. Super we're gonna cool, have right? a conversation when we get into ranking the Metal Gears. And, you know, I think we're going to talk about Ray and Rex and everybody's going to have a lot of love for them. But we got to think of the times. You know what I mean? You got to put mm. yourself back in the time period and respect Shagahot. Look at how cool this thing is. It's pretty nimble for such a massive Yeah. Beast. I like the colors of it. I love the tracks that it's on mm. right here as well. Like the drill tracks to move. Uh, it flies. It's uh, super fast. It's crazy. I love it. Oh, this music is so good. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, we took one. You don't okay. want to use tranquilizer dots on it? <laughs> you think you want the camo? <laughs> <laughs> you get those little treads on your feet? Yeah, I, I need to do the, the trank run on this fight, right? <laughs> I get the super cool Shaga hot armor. Out here, got machine guns on the back, too. Love that. Oh, so you're shooting it on the feet and then the face. Okay, I like that. Yeah, oh, baby. Wow. Done that before, haven't you? 
Baird is very good at this. Jesus, Tim. Jesus Christ, what the You got an energy that was only reserved for nighttime. And um, now it's not. I think you'll find I was uh, uh, talking about uh, Metal Gear Ray in Metal Gear Solid 2. You gotta shoot him in the leg and then in the mouth. Shoot him oh. in the leg, shoot oh, him in the okay. mouth. That's how he said. Yep. Mm -hmm. You gotta love the tag team of Eva and Snake, oh. dude. Look at these two together now. Incredible. Oh, you don't have RPGs anymore? No, I do. He's got unlimited ammo on that thing, bro. Yeah, baby. Talk about that bandana, huh? Motherfucker, come on. That was just a bad position. Ah! Oh, he's getting real close! Oh, no. Run! Nice. You think they should have put more guns on the front of it? He's only shooting from the back. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, I don't think it was intended for this. You know what I mean? Like, it's intended to run, like, go 88 yeah. miles an hour and yep. fucking blow Shoot a giant that hole. Nuclear missile there off is the country. one. Yeah, there yeah. is the one turret looking thing on its head, which is interesting that he's not using. Yeah. I think somebody's got to be on that. Yeah, yeah I think that's one of those got to be man. Yeah, man powered. But yeah, Kevin's yeah, man got man a good point. Like, uh, they, uh, he's got the guns in the back, kind of like how like. UPS trucks and stuff have the cameras on the back, right? Mm. Just to make sure no one's fucking with it from behind, you know? Well, remember it had a butt, too. Remember it had a butt yeah, a while it, ago. It, and then butt it took the butt off. off. Yeah, yeah, it had a butt. It had a, it had a beetle butt. Beetle butt. Well, beetle we had butt. a tank butt. Yeah, a tank beetle butt. Beetle butt. Damn. Oh, he's not letting me get him. There we go. <clears throat> Now, is this the easiest Shagahod fight out of all of them? Or I should say, not Why Shagahod, not but move it? Metal move. Gear fight out of all of them. I gotta get into his face! Well, he's got shit. Bear's, just, Bear's just that good. Bear's just that good. Bear's gotten that yeah. good now. Because, like, Bear's taking I was, I was worried that, like, because I knew we were gonna, like, start in the middle of this fight, I was, like, gonna lose it, especially because I was, uh... The only game, other game I've been playing is Metroid Dread, which is a very different control scheme. So I was like, man, I'm going to go into this fight and like, I'm going to forget all the controls again. Turns it just, it fit like a, real a, a fucking comfortable glove there, Mike, getting back into this fight here. Yeah, that Metroid Dread control scheme, something different, man. Woo! Got me angling my fingers in ways that I've never done before. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing Cuphead again. Did you like, ever the change the controls Cuphead? No, I, I prefer I the uh, original control scheme. I don't like oh, what Tim does with like everything on the trailer. No, it's weird. Hey, shut up, shut up, shut up. Is, Sorry, is, is the you... Raven's territory? Oh. <laughs> right, it looks just like it. I love Snake where he's like, ooh. I regret this. Uh oh. Oh shit. So he's about to charge this thing up again with his electricity. Oh shit. Oh no, he's gonna take the electricity. Oh my god, it's Whiplash from Iron Man 2. I want my birds. <laughs> I want my birds. <laughs> Fuck off, no way. I remember when you're like, oh, this is really easy. Get off. What? I'm gonna lure it back here. She's lying, she's ditching me, bro. I'm used to this guy. I know how to handle him. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Now that stealth suit is the coolest fucking <clears throat> suit in the game. Oh. Thought he was gonna lose a hand or something. Huh? Come on, you blockhead. Huh? Oh! Oh, she gave him. It's a big deal in Russia. Dang, he's yeah. controlling yeah. the thing like that, bro? Okay. With electricity. Mike, you're so low in your shot. You're Kevin, so you low. gave me too much headroom, bro. I gave you too much headroom because I no, have camera control. Mike, even on your camera. <laughs> yeah, you are in Discord. You're like literally two up, thirds buddy. of the frame. No, no, I'll, 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 okay, I gave you. I hate you. <laughs> what happens when he doesn't have a chai tea latte? gave me too much headroom. No chai tea latte, Mike starts uh -huh. slumping. You think uh -huh. he didn't have a chai tea latte today? I haven't gone to Starbucks in five days, Kevin. I've been wow. clean and sober off the wow. job. Imagine okay. the hundreds of dollars you've saved. Uh, exactly. My body hurts from no touchy latte. Legitimately, latte's. no exaggerating. You oh probably oh have God, he's saved at oh least no, no, $150, no. right? Ah. Okay, there you go. Remember uh, the gun that you were yeah. like talking about? Oh, look at him now. Look at him now. 
Is there is there such thing as shocking, too much yeah, calories in a day? Just asking. Yeah, hundred yes. percent. No, not at all. Bless it's cool. You eat as much you as get you want. You, you eat as much as you want, bless. Yeah, we'll see what happens, bless. Oh Things. no! These calorie mates are calling my name. Whoa, bro! That's you just passed the calorie lot. mates. That's ah! a lot. You might have to take a walk. How about that, bless? You have to take a short walk. We'll do a jog after this. Everyone was worried about my pooping afterwards, and it was. You're sick, fun. so your body's gonna be burning through calories a little quicker. So oh. if you need justification, He's there it is. Sick. He just lost his throat. He lost it. That's a little sick. We seen it. I lost my throat. He lost his throat. Throat gone. Uh oh. Rain is here. Uh oh. That's not a good. It's not a good sign. Not a good technique there. There he goes. Oh snap! The rain. He only has like a quarter bar left. Freaking is wrecking call, his bro. shit. Yeah. Hey, did he drop a camera? Uh, no, I don't think so. That orange yeah, suit. I thought we did dope. say. I thought we said in the last fight he dropped. Oh yeah, he might. He might do yeah, it. Yeah, we got. We got his Russian yeah, yeah, he does. He does. He does. He does. And then. Oh, I missed him. The... We didn't get oh, the man. Russian flag suit. Is this yeah, an easy mode? No, wait, no, we didn't. You're right. You're right. I'm just saying, Bear, take out that train gun. That makes people hesitate when they're trying to kill you. They got that trank down. Oh! Nice. Shagadelic. That's a great achievement name. Got an Austin Powers writer to name that achievement. Kev, I think people are asking for the game audio to, to go up a little bit, if possible. I mean, I think it's just quiet raining. So I think even during the Okay. Good stuff. No cap. Alright, man. Chill the fuck out, man. You know what I mean? Don't embarrass me in front of cool Greg. <laughs> Who's afraid of a little thunder? Cool Barra, cool Barra. Oh, because he does lightning, guys. <laughs> Dang, this man went up in flames! Now he's the fury. Oh, the bullets are popping all up on him. No, oh, those are all just like sparks and shit. No, no, those are the bullets on it's his, bullets, on his yeah. uh, bandolier. Bandolier? Bandolier. Uh, yeah. Bandolier! God damn, dude. You can still trank him. No <laughs> <Still> time. <laughs> Well, what a way to I imagine die. this would have happened anyway, you know? Right? Bolt of Even if we trained him? Yeah. Probably, yeah. You still get the armor, though, right? It's finally over. Well, now he doesn't get it. Well, now you don't get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that would have been the one. But that that would have been, like, helpful. Oh, for like, are they going to make out behind these fireworks right here? That would be nuts. Oh, okay. damn. Just a hug. A damn. beautiful moment. Love can bloom over. on the battlefield. But it's not finally over yet, Mike. Love can bloom, and we've had love in all three of these video games. Thinking about you, Rose. Oh, shit. Rose? What yeah, I can call you like that. You didn't call Meryl out and called Rose out. No time for this now. The escape craft is just up ahead. Well, we still gotta take out the boss, bro. Go look at chat, by the way. Are we dancing kids forever? Spam the entire chat. Don't, like, I started doing that last time. We got all worked up. <laughs> Cat can't real big. Cat, Cat can't really figure it out because they don't understand that me and Baron like hanging out with them and want to talk about the game with them, but then they ruin it. But then, yeah, but then they only. constantly spoil me. And it's like, oh, right. now I have to sit here with the emote only Cat, which is so boring, Cat. Look at what you've can't done. Can't believe you did that to Mike. Look at Look what at you've him. done, Cat. All out. I want to do is talk about adult. Metal Gear Solid with you. But all you made me do is ruin it. Unbelievable. You give it an end up animal. Ooh! That one motorcycle hit the other driver, and <laughs> the driver fell off. Yeah, it happens. It's real life. The physics, baby. We're out of here. Oh, God. Where did the flying dudes go? They kind of just disappeared on us. They'll be here.
That bar is 50% full. Almost, awesome. almost. Right there, right almost, there. Almost. Lots of Revo South. Ah, lots of Revo. Lots of Revo. Oh, there's a the flying guy. Yeah, they're there. Fall up. Fall up. Get out of my face! He's about to He's gonna land on you. Oh, he's not killable. Fucking Cerberoni. Oh, there's more. It's a lot. There we go. Oh my god, they keep coming! Jesus Christ! They really are. Oh, so get off me! The shoot the log! Shoot the log! There it is. Shoot it! She saw it so, it like, it so far ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, crazy right? Sorry. Yeah, she got, she got a great lot of things. Alright, alright, Cam. Nah, I hear you, Cam. I'm with you. It just became after. We're gonna give you a cold bath or something. Look, it's, it's a different time zone of where, where my body is, okay? <laughs> it's a different time zone. I'm in the horny time zone. No, your body is still in right. the, the time zone. Your mind is in the different time zone. Nah, me and Cam are in the same time zone. I feel you, Cam. Yeah, the thirsty time zone. Oh, yeah. No, don't, no, no, come on. I thought I shot you up. Man, I, like, when Kojima, like, decides he likes something, he's so in. Like, this car chase is dope. Let's just yeah. do it forever. Yeah, let's just do this forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, not only I that, like it's, like, it's uh, reminiscent I like of it, it reminds me a lot of Metal Gear Solid One. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like he was just like, let me. I like that cars. That yeah, Jeep cars. This All one's right. a little more easier. What's wrong with the audio? The mods. Audio? If anyone can tell me what, what why they're getting the audio thing, is it too loud no, now? They, they don't know what this thing. Don't worry if about it. If you if right. you tell me it's too loud, I will murder you. They can't tell you because they're on emote only mode, so nobody well, can tell you. The, mod, the mods can tell me. Mods we can trust. Nah, don't worry Except about Nano. them. Don't worry about them. You just send it. It's too late now. Where are they coming from? Where are they? Where are you at? There you are. You remember it? Where 10 minutes ago when they were like, oh, it's too quiet. That's them. That's you. You know who you are. Oh, shit! An expert cyclist, bro. I think cyclists refer to people on bicycles. Mm. Right? I don't know. What do you call a motorist, motorist? Maybe motorist. Yeah, I think some motorist. Car, a biker. An expert biker, we'll call her. Biker. Yeah. Okay. Looks like they finally gave up. Don't start celebrating yet. We're leaving oh, fuel. Oh, what you leaking? Put your finger in there. In there. Yeah, Kevin, you and I both know it's right. It is. Stick your finger in there, you'll be fine. Oh, there's a log, you're dead. Oh, my God. The other oh! log's just on. Oh! Oh! Dead. Very jinxer. Oh, oh shit. Oh, the burning moss came off. Christ. What if the motorcycle lands on her and she dies in front of you? How hard That's exactly what happened. Why would you say dead. that? Because <laughs> I don't want it to happen, but, like, you know, I'm just predicting the future. Oh. You're so good at that. Thanks, Kevin. I can see it. I'm in the writer's room. Can. Eva. There she is, I'm chopping up. 
Yeah, thank God she's alive. Oh, thank God. I really thought she was going to be underneath the motorcycle. <laughs> oh, my God. Like a fucking scene from Signs. Signs? Signs? She seems fine. Wronger than ever. Leanne's sitting down. Nah, she rolled in the... Oh! oh, oh no! God damn it, Mike. This is all your fault. Look at the uh, side, no. yo. <laughs> Oh, oh no! That's, Mike, that's like a flesh wound. Should be fine. I think we could rip that out and you could be saved. You leave it in there, Mike. You break you off the side of the wall. Oh! It reminds me of Brooklyn Nine Nine when they jump the fence. He's like, "Oh man, I got scratched." He's like, "Oh, like how did you land?" And uh, the the sergeant's like, "Seems I've been impaled by a, a like a huge fucking pole. <laughs> it's just like sticking through his leg." You think I'd like Brooklyn Nine Nine? Yeah. yeah. We have to get. Yeah. Ready. Oh Nine yeah. Nine? Nine one. Nine nine. Let's go. Believe me. Eva. That's right. The boss is waiting for you. You have to Jesus, go. Jesus, bleeding out of the mouth. Give me a gun. No, we're getting out of here. Give me a gun. Give her a gun, a gun for what reason? She I know. Like, 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 blow her own brains out. No. You know what? She's Snake gonna is blow like, her brains out? Oh, man. Snake, you act this Snake is just like, you're too hot to leave behind. We gotta go. Yeah, no, yeah. I love you now. Listen to me. We've played We're this cat and mouse together. game, and now I love you. I'm ready. No, you... I'm ready. I'm ready you. now. There we go. I need you. I need you. Goddamn. Say that one more time. Yeah, she likes hearing it. I need you. There it is. Goddamn. I can't you stay alive. By myself. That's doing things for me. I can't fly the wig by myself. Uh, dang it. Oh, my God. He was so close. <laughs> In my man. <laughs> He's messing with it. All right then. I guess I'd better help you out. Is he gonna no, carry don't her? No, don't. no, 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 no. That's a terrible idea. A really bad idea. Snake has a Do whole, it. Snake has a whole ambulance in his oh! back pocket. Oh! Oh my God! Oh, the spray. Yeah. Jeez, the spray. You think she fucked up a kidney? Maybe yeah. Oh, nah, nah. Coming Lauren from a cop doc, Kevin, she's fine. She's if Snake fine. doesn't go into his damn cure menu right now. You're lucky. To no, she has to do it. No. Hand her a little bit of calorie, mate. She'll be fine. Damn, Eat dude. one of these. Stick the calorie, mate, in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Soaks it up. Soaks it up. Just like yeah. the, just like the, um, the gas tank, you know. Just oh, stick your finger. This, this is too finger. bad. Oh. This is too bad. They I'm finally sure. came together. That sucks. Snake. I love that Can snake could have used his knife to like just Thank remove God. the entire Eva's been seriously spike, hurt. but so chose not you. to. Luckily, I think her organs are all intact. But calm down, snake. Calm down. You'll both be fine as long as you get the proper emergency treatment. Yeah, Nana in the chat is but right. They should the have one who cut can do off this. the branch. Understand? Yeah, yeah. So you've got to calm no, down. No, that's not how you do it. First one to bring okay. that up. We're fine. Okay. Oh, now let's open Sorry. up the survival viewer and treat the injury. Do you oh, have supplies? I, with I you? thought you said. Uh, oh my God! Blessing, they're gonna save her. Then by switching uh, the survival viewer to Eva, you can treat her wounds too. What? Oh, and Snake, I'm pretty sure you know this already. But if you don't have enough supplies for the both of you, your wounds oh, come shit. first. No, yeah. tell her no oh, way. You shit. No way. Snake, you've still got a mission to complete. Yeah, I know what I have to do. Does it make terrible soldiers? Snake, dude, like uh, are there gonna be like two major different endings depending on how many fucking uh, cure supplies I have? That's fucking wild, bro. All right, we gotta go first, right? So, suffering uh, from a deep cut. Did, huh? You did it. You took care of yourself first. What a piece of shit. Oh, do you not see how hot she is? Like, you will be fine. You will be fine. Suffering from a deep cut. What else do I need? I get hell of everything. What the fuck? Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, what the fuck? Did you use a cheat code? Why is everything filled? <laughs> no, he doesn't play. This My is man's actually never been game. injured. This is the second time he's healed himself in the game. <laughs> no, like, I've never opened I've, this I've, menu. Barrett, Barrett, I'm making fun me. of that one kid who's like, I've never seen him open this. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Sure about he's like, has he ever gone to the cure menu? It's like, we were on it three minutes ago. If you and, go to uh, the settings, uh, there's actually a cure menu. Blah, 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 You've blah. been to the cure menu? <laughs> Kevin, I've been told game audio is a little loud. Get the fuck out. You know what? I'm boosting even higher. <laughs> Remember when I set it to this level to begin with? And then everyone's like, it's too low. I already, uh, already my laugh was like a, like a 60s villain. <laughs> what is this? 
Uh, no Tam, I'm putting together blood. these plastic things for um, some uh, sound paneling, and mm. I'm afraid I've bruised my thumb. I oh my no! Thumb. Yeah, that's just scary. Left thumb or right thumb? Left thumb. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Okay, so it's not a total loss. Cut. No, Jesus. No, but a bruise is still bad. Yeah. Suffering. It just. Deep well, I mean, I'm only halfway done. Well, I guess that's not true. Ah. I'm one third two. One six, five six done. Five mm. six. So I'm pretty close you know? to being done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nailed it. Did it. <sighs> if we didn't have enough supplies, would she have died and the game would have continued going? No, the sex scene would have been really awkward. So. Mm. No, I made that up. Mm, mm. <laughs> Nothing happens. Oh. Do it, Kev, out of spite. Easy save. Take a gallery, mate. They're my favorite. Here. It's different from the Mauser. When you're using a two-hand grip, you have to be careful where you put your hands or your fingers will get burned by the exhaust gas from the cylinder gap. Snake is a fucking nerd. Yeah. It's also cute. Look at him, teacher. This he's lady a, is dying. He Why is he like a that revolver? Gun. Gun. He's a snake. Snake is a gun weeb. He really is. He's a gunaboo. <laughs> I like that. Gunaboo. Fuck you, Tim. Oh my god, pick up the call. <laughs> I had items to pick up. Who was oh, that, nice. you think? Probably Major Zero, right? We'll call, we'll call back. Yeah, Snake, back. are you alright? I've been better. What about Eva? I healed her up. She can manage. Good. Snake, stay on your toes. The enemy hasn't given up coming after you yet. They should be there oh, any minute now. Dope. If you go southeast from there, you'll come to a road leading to the lake. Take Eva with you and head oh, southeast. Shit. We're about to go to a lake. Um... Uh, Chad, I see that the bar isn't filled, and, uh... Unacceptable. You should probably fill that bar if you want I, us to make I, it to the end of the game. Oh, snap! We want to make it to the end of the game, yo! Wait, do I have to, like, bring her, like, what? what's going on here? She's all messed up, man. You gotta hold her hand. You know this game. You it's like Nico. It. Oh, yep. do you really have to hold her hand? Or oh, Metal Gear snap. Solid 2. Hand holding. Press B, press B next to her. You oh, to... no, 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 no. Okay, so she... She doesn't walk with me, but I tell her when to come with Y. Mm, okay. Mm, okay. If you press the, uh, uh, okay, yeah, that should be fine. Unicorn, thank you for gifting out that tier one sub Damn, along with Club and P. No, no, Metal no. Gear I was going to say you could P. knock her out and try and drag her, but I don't do that. Frank Darter, <laughs> drag her. We could probably, do we, uh, is there a reason to be in emote only right now? Uh, yeah, the kids can't be trusted. Let him free! Cool. Let him free. free. We're not in the cutscene anymore. Let him Chappy free forever. Cool. Seriously, like, come on. You're better than this. Shout out to Mitchell Hop. I mean, the time and time and uh, again, you, Kevin, they, pro they prove that they're not better than this, you know? God, every don't week, let Barrett be right. Chat you, chat, you break my heart every single week. I want you to know that. Every single week, I just want to enjoy this experience and while talking with all of you, and then you just absolutely take it from me. You oh, rip shit. it right out of my hands. I don't love this. Fingers are sore. I don't love that I have to do an escort thing while fighting off these fuckers. That yeah. is a large fire coming out of that motorcycle. That seems a little much. You don't know. You've never seen a motorcycle fire. That is or true. you haven't been in the tundra of Russia. Mm. Siberia? Pakistan. Where are we again? No, it's Russia. Russia. All right, all right. See, it's a small fire, but there's a lot of kindling around it, Mike. So he catches fire. There's, there's a lot of rain delicious. happening. It seems like that. Yeah, it's been very wet, though. Very wet. Yeah, but and you see that Gulf of Mexico thing? That was just in the middle of the ocean, on fire. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> on, fi on fire. Definitely rain can no longer be trusted. Yeah. Rain Wait, is a threat. Do know where I am? Why is it always at 99%? Because they're looking for you. Thank you, oh, Bridge true. Boy 111 for the Prime Gaming sub for 24 months, two full years together that Prime Gaming sub. Alternative Chaos as well for the Prime Gaming sub. Everybody out there helping fill up that bar. Tam and Blessing said, we want more Metal Gear. Let's fill up that bar. And we are so Where'd close you see? right what? now. What is happening right now? They saw you, my guy. What? Mm. 
God damn. Oh, she they, is just absolutely her. getting fired upon, bro. Oh, she, she's God dead. damn. I didn't know that they were coming from fucking behind, dude. She dead, dead. Fuck out of here. Get out of my fucking face. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. Mike, I got a bunch of panels for my room to be less echoey. Mm, mm, okay. But, like, I don't think it's going to be enough. <laughs> this room's really echoey. Your new office, Kevin, we're calling it. Mm -hmm. It's the office. Mm -hmm. Thank you you don't need to worry room. about that, Kevin, because it's a VR room, truly. It's a VR room. I can't Are you, you set it up to be, like, a full-on VR setup? Uh, yeah, I'll probably do at least some form of simple VR setup today. I have the P PSVR setup. But I think I'm gonna do the the quest next. Nice. It's going horribly wrong. And oh, she's eight. taking shots at people too. Yeah, she is. Once the Willems leave, I'm gonna I'm gonna set a proper VR thing with like nice a couple of points all around the room. I'm very excited. You wanna come play a horror game? Let me know. I, I I'll, scare you real, I'll scare you real good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that offer, bro. That sounds like a blast. I don't love this aspect that they have to, like, that they keep coming up from behind. Mm. Oh my god, feeder for Christ's sake. She's feeder, feeder. Dude, like, what the fuck is this shit, man? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Tight. Super cool. Got the art of gave to be honest, I don't love this. Yeah, it's a dumb mechanic. Damn. I don't remember mm. this part. Why mm -hmm. does this part have to suck so bad? I don't know. It's just kind of Did you just time run to, to unload. Area? No, you got. I think you got to take. She, she's got to get shot. Me, though. Yeah, she got shot. Well, uh, Major Zero was like they're gonna be coming up behind you any moment. So. I mean, yeah, she yeah, wasn't I guess lying. Yeah, I guess you were warned. I just wish she would walk with me automatically and not. Thing is, you can get her to like park up in the uh, in the foliage there, and then do sneaky shit if you want. But it's not really. She got in her face. No, got bandage. deep cut. Not in her face. Face cut. She cut his face. Would it help to use smoke grenades or anything? No, not really. It does a little bit, but honestly, you're just better off just unloading. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me have some more. Look at that delicious Oh, gallery. she likes that calorie, man. She loves it. She loves it. aligned. Well, yeah, it's hella good. We've all had it now, except for Did you eat your two packs already? Did you eat your two packs? Oh, I finished the first box. I'm going to um, yeah, yeah, like, go for the second. I'm going to hold off on the second one. That's a good I don't want to like, yeah, I, wanna, I don't want to poop like crazy. Oh, it's not going to make you poop like crazy. That won't happen. Like that is what the rock. chat said last time I was eating it. They're like, "Oh, you're gonna poop!" And guess what, you're chat? Poop your pants. I already pooped a lot. It was unavoidable. I'm always pooping a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's my secret. Ba, 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 ba. <clears throat> Snake, the lake is just over that cliff. Oh, thank Eva God. should be able to climb it if you help her. Keep her close to you. Snake. I see. Sweet. I thought that was going to be a much longer segment there. Keep it nice and tight. That's what they say. I feel like it was an unnecessary little uh, moment there, though. You know? Something's going to happen here. Strengthening the bond. James Bond. Oh, do, I, oh, do we have to do it again? Shit. Oh, wow. He just let her jump like that? He didn't even try to catch her? Oh, my God. Fine. She's fine. She's a warrior. That was like a I mean? six-foot drop. She just sent it. Oh, wow. <laughs> this fucking sucks. They're looking like, at us. You're going to stun his ass? Oh, psych. We're just going balls to the ball now, baby. Shotgun. Bugatti. 
what it there sounds like when you shoot the shotgun and it's silenced. Nice. Nothing on you. <laughs> the shotgun is so dumbly OP. Yeah. Um, I should probably look at if I got fucked up at all there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he shot some hits there. Seeing this uh, carnage, this gun carnage, is making mm -hmm. me want to watch season two of Daredevil, where they introduce the Punisher. Mm. Mm. Did you, watch you, could, the you couldn't pay me to watch. Did you watch the latest again? Hot Ones episode with him? I saw the clip that everybody was sharing, and I got you, I got to go back and watch it. He's one of my favorite actors. It. Oh, you're He's gonna such love a good then. actor. You're gonna love it, bless. It was very very good. He was also great in episode two of The Premise, which is a mm. new show on Hulu, uh, directed What's by the B premise? B J Novak. Uh, the premise of the show is it's Black Mirror-ish where it's anthology, but instead of it being like Black Mirror where it's like near future, it is uh, very much like present type scenarios. Um, it's pretty good. But yeah, like the episode he's in. Wait, what was that, Kevin? I said Joey was selling me on that. It's really, I, I will say, I think overall it's like fine, but the episode that John Bernthal is in specifically is phenomenal. It's a 10 out of 10 episode. Nice. He, he uses like oh rough voice. Yeah, he play he plays John John Bernthal that you know <laughs> that you know. He plays the character he plays all the time. Yeah, exactly. God, so Ripson, he says it's lovely to go. hear Blessing's voice is back. It is not. <laughs> Do you hear me? Where'd she no, go? I mean, it's not, Where the you know, fuck? gone? Gone. A lot of people say you're exaggerating. Get some time off. Oh no, yeah, yesterday it was gone, gone. I'm right there with you. Oh my god! for a minute and then mellowed out. Mm. Mm, mm. Bloodbath out here. Why is it showing her in the menu just like Jess and her her underdogs there? That's how he likes to envision her. It's fucked up. Mm. I was double checking because she it looks like she had just gotten set so I was like hmm might be a stab in there. Apparently walking. Oh, it's because the, 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 the branch. <laughs> All right, is it over this fucking hill? Maybe. I'm hoping there's one more sequence. Maybe two. Yeah, one more. more hill? You want one Maybe more hill? Two. Yeah, two, two more. Two more. Why? <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. Because I'm having a blast, bro. I no, don't want this to sucks. end, I don't Baron. like I don't this segment. Like, I really don't like this segment. I'm going to be honest with you. It's almost over. You're so tough. Yeah. And then the next segment might be one of the greatest moments in gaming history. So, I don't know. Mm. That's one man's opinion. <laughs> I don't know, he says. I don't know. Of all time. Oh, please tell me it's over. Time, Thank God. Time. Kojima walks on. He's like, it was all part of the plan. <laughs> the last few segments... <laughs> We're actually to get you to get hyped for this next one. I mean, kind of. Wait, did she just start running? She's yeah, waving she's at she's you now. She's yeah, she said, come on. Oh, we're in Lordran. 
Look at this beautiful. Look at this beautiful. Oh, so now you know everything's gonna be perfectly we fine, and then the game's just gonna calmly end. The water is sparkling, like Elise Willem says. I don't know what the hell that means. She said, "If I wear my glasses, I would be able to see the water sparkle at the lake." It's the boss, isn't it? And it was true. I'll go get the wig ready to take off. <laughs> Bless you, Mike. <laughs> you got polarized right. lenses. I'll leave uh, you no. alone. I'm not wearing Come my glasses today. Okay. I'm never gonna wear them again. Mike, you look so good in them, though. You look good. This great. Decided to never wear them again now. God, you're such a child. I hate you. you. Promise me. I do want to get contacts, though. I don't like that he didn't promise her. Just get so she said, "I'm face. gonna go start up the plane, and then he's going to see what the boss." Where did where what these fucking the flowers come God, from? I love this scene. Here's a transition. Oh. Here's a scene transition. Goddamn go to Tsushima moment right there. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Not Japan. It was this moment. I really love that scene transition. Life's end. Ooh. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. When life ends, it gives off a final lingering aroma. Yeah. You shit your pants. Light is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. Boss. Why are you doing this? Why? To make the world one again. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow, I doubt it. Enemies change along with the times, the flow of the ages. And we soldiers are forced to play along. That was a fucking shot right I there. I always love a wide shot. I didn't you into the man you are today, just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. So then what is an enemy? Is there such a thing as an absolute timeless enemy? There is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. I will devote my skills to that purpose. And with the Colonel's money, I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. I may no longer be able to bear children, but I still have a family. We kind of killed It him. was November 1st, 1951. I was in the Nevada desert <laughs> participating in atomic testing. Oh no, that's never good. The name Nevada is derived from Spanish, covered in snow, white as snow. I don't know if I can back that up. And snow is exactly what I saw <laughs> in that Nevada desert. It Means froze like my blood white. <laughs> Snake, you were an atomic test subject, weren't you? On Bikini Atoll. That's part of the reason I was drawn to you. You and I are alike. We're both slowly being eaten away by the karma of others. We'll never have the chance to die peacefully of old age. We have no tomorrow. Damn. 
but we can still have hope for the future. In 1960, I saw a vision of the ideal future from space. Three years earlier, the Soviet Union had succeeded in launching Sputnik, the first man-made satellite in history, into orbit. This came as a huge shock to the United States. In response, America threw everything it had into its own manned spaceflight project, the Mercury Program. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. The government wanted human data. So they secretly decided to send a human being into space. I was the one they chose. At the time, they didn't have the technology to block out cosmic rays, and whoever they sent up would inevitably be exposed to heavy radiation. That's why they chose me. After all, I'd already been irradiated once. Of course, you won't find any of this in the history books. I could see the planet as it appeared from space. That's when it finally hit me. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power struggle between the U.S. and the USSR. Politics, economics, the arms race, they're all just arenas for meaningless competition. Kojima's spitting sure right now. See that. It's but music as well, on has no boundaries. No East, no West, no Cold War. And the irony of it is, the United States and the Soviet Union are spending billions on their space programs and the missile race, only to arrive at the same conclusion. In the 21st century, everyone will be able to see that we are all just inhabitants of a little celestial body called Earth. A world without communism or capitalism, that is the world I wanted to see. But reality continued to betray me. Absolutely based. In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, <laughs> to Bahia de Cochinos. It was part of a CIA-sponsored invasion under the guise of taking Cuban exiles back to their country. But the U.S. government betrayed them. Our weak-kneed president held back their air support. Defenseless, the exiles were annihilated by the Cuban army. All I could do was watch in silence. I was set up by the very country I'd sacrificed so much for, by the very government I dedicated my life to defending. I was driven from the surface world, and I went underground. Then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow, my old comrade in battle. He was my friend. But one of us had to die. I was left with no choice. The sorrow gave his life for me. There is no enmity between us. One must live and one must die. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Early in the 20th century, the true holders of power in the United States, the Republic of China, and the newly formed Soviet Union, gathered together in a secret meeting that would later be known as the Wiseman's Committee. The secret pact they formed there marked the beginning of the philosophers. But the last of the original members died in the 1930s. After that, the organization began to run out of control, and the Wise Men's Committee degenerated into a mere. <laughs> so it's a no long fucking cutscene. <laughs> Their influence extends to countries and organizations involved in every aspect of every war. They have become war itself. That's how they operate. The sacrifices of war cause a shift in the times. This shift leads to renewed conflict and in turn triggers the next war. Like a nuclear chain reaction, each conflict sparks countless others, forming an endless spiral that will continue on for eternity. 
Do you understand what I'm saying, Snake? By consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. It was my father who explained all of this to me. He was one of them. You see, I am the last remaining child of the philosophers. But after he revealed the truth, my father was killed by that same shapeless, formless organization. And my father isn't the only thing the philosophers have taken from me. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. We'd been given a top-secret mission to locate and destroy enemy V-2 rocket installations. I was pregnant at the time. The sorrow was the father. I gave birth on the field of... Whoa. A beautiful baby boy. But my child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. Similar to Watch Your Face in Metal Gear Solid 2, right? Mm-hmm. Look at this scar. This is proof that I was once a mother. I gave up my body and my child for my country. There is nothing left inside me now. Nothing at all. No hatred, not even regret. And yet sometimes at night, I can still feel the pain creeping up inside me. Slithering through my body like a snake. I've never talked this much about myself before. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. I feel content. Snake. Commence the operation. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life, by your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. It is our destiny. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. I'll give you 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Let's make this the greatest 10 minutes of our lives, Jack. God damn. Boss. You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. Let's see what you're making. All right, just to take a pause there, because that, that was a lot there. And I also have to go to the restroom. <laughs> All right, well, he goes to the rest of the house. How wild. Break that down. How wild. What a moment. Yo, Tam, he continues to get into the Duffy and just speak on mm. like real world issues, right? And it's really interesting to see that in the video game form, right? Of like, usually it's Master Chief taking on, you know, hordes of aliens out there, bringing the Covenant back their bomb. But now we're out here, we're talking about the real world here and how that affects Boss and those around her. What's up with all that? Tell me, break it down for me. I mean, like, uh, the themes of Metal Gear Solid are always inspired by real world, and Kojima and the writing team working on it love to, like, play off what's going on. And this is an interesting one because it's it's less predictive than the other games. Um, Metal Gear Solid 1 and Metal Gear Solid 2, it was kind of like you, you experienced those and 
when you experience them back in the time, they took what was happening around us, like mm. the the seed of what was happening, and they managed to follow them forward into into things that were depicted that are now happening in the world around us, and that's what was really cool about it. Whereas this is more like a retrospective story, right? They're going back in time and telling a story in events that have occurred, and although they still have you know impact on the day and the world we live in the the kind of end point of it is already established so that's what's interesting about this story like it's a a character driven tale and that's why they can tell this character driven tale about snake and boss and all these other characters is because they have a complete framework and context around it which is why it makes it so powerful that you know one of the most interesting things about this story is the idea of what you don't know happened in the cold war like the thing of the fury being before Gagarin and the whole story about the boss being this legendary hero important to America um, doing so much behind the scenes it carries so much power and that's one of the things that's that they use in this uh, in game to really really good effect is you know you had no idea that while this Cold War was being fought there was this one woman doing this in these incredible achieving incredible feats behind the scenes to keep the country she fought for in the race and keep them relevant and there's a lot of like this game is about patriotism but it also is about subverting that patriotism and looking at the dangers of that patriotism and what what it can do to soldiers and people who come at it from a an honest and and kind of like heartfelt way that boss went into this believing that she wanted to fight for her country and that was used against her and that's the story of soldiers in a lot of ways yeah 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 exactly like uh, just like the the moment where you have to think for a minute of like what you're actually fighting for and just like the where she you know the the whole cold war between the u.s and uh the ussr and all this stuff and her kind of realizing like like this is only going to end one way and like we we need like a different way to to fight this battle uh against mm. battles right and like i i wish for a a world without uh communism or capitalism and all that stuff and i was just like god damn this is yeah cuz you know how to write a write a really based yeah. uh, and well told game here and, and like the 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 cost of that war being yeah. waged by figures that are they don't exist in the same world that we exist in. They exist in a world that is in this in this plane of existence, but like, you know, they're, they're on a different level and they yeah. use, you know, this is a story also about a woman who, as we just learned, had her child taken away from her on the battlefield immediately and now is being forced to fight her other child to the death. And that is a battle being waged. The personal stakes of that are being, you know, felt by the pawns of these people who don't exist, right. you know, and, and it they is li- like, they look at it all as just a, 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 a yeah. game of chess for power. Right. Yeah. And, and they, yeah. And the boss says at the start that, you know, yesterday's friend is today's enemy and vice versa. And that's kind of exactly what like politics on the world stage is like, right. Right now it's just like one minute you're friends the next minute you're not. And, and the cost of that is never really thought of. And there's no eternal enemy. Um, all we're doing is cycling through enemies. Yeah. That's what we we exist to fight enemies, one after the other. And if there isn't one, one will be created. Yeah. Blessing, anything from you? Barrett, make this the best 10 minutes of your life. Oh, you're the <laughs> best, bro. So, okay. So, how, like, she said she was, like, waiting for our birth and shit like that. Like, it's not implied that we are actually her child right you you are not her biological okay child, okay no. that's like i i was about to make that connection in, in the middle of her speech but i was like no but then they said like uh, the child was taken away and stuff like that so that was like a little that was like an interesting a second her and uh her and a uh, dead uh octagon getting mm. it on though it was very uh yeah so they have on they have a child yeah yeah but she it was taken away from who was the okay so who was the character who also was missing a child it was the russian Olga. woman right Olga. yeah yeah, yeah. Olga, bro okay. yeah interesting interesting okay i just wanted to see if i needed to cure myself at all or or anything um all right let's see what i got in my backpack really quick before we open up the menu and i imagine she's gonna punch me right right away 
Um, it's, she was going full sprint towards me. <laughs> it's worth also saying, like the the that theme of children and their place within the war is an important one because mm. remember what the sorrow said. I mentioned it earlier. You know, you will be killed by your children and their children and their children. Mm. I don't remember him saying that. Was that when we were walking down the, the river? Yeah, he says it while you're walking. Gotcha. Yeah, also, something to note is the relationships that we've seen in the past in the other games. Yeah. You know? yeah. God, there's so much to Families turning with. turning against each other. Liquid versus solid. Yeah. Right. Olga being fighting for her child, Emma right. and Otacon, two, two geniuses basically turned against each other. Right, right. That's a good point. Yeah. So deep. So Let the Twitch deep, chat bro. free. Twitch chat, I miss you. See, this is the type of stuff. If you didn't spoil things, we could share this incredible moment together and I can hear your thoughts on the video game. But you always oh, do me dirty. You always do me dirty. Don't do me dirty. Do it, chat. Be cool, chat. How do I do the... Oh, God. Oh, that was bad. Oh, God. Run, Jesus. No she mercy. is wild, bro. Jesus Christ, dude. I don't love the fixed camera angle that it's forcing me into now. Well, I gotta cure myself somewhere. Man, she's out there getting it. Fuck you. Oh, stay. get ready. Here it comes, y'all. That is not easy to do, Barrett. So you should take some uh, pride in that you're pulling that off. Oh, I thought it was like a very like important part of that fight. Yeah, it is. Oh, big shots right there. Can I keep it? What was that? What was that Xbox achievement? I don't know what that was. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not look at it. Yeah, yeah you know. Can I, mean? I keep? I'm it. sure. It's, I'm sure it's not spoilers, but just in case. The the explanation. Oh, for... I think I know what you did. Uh, there's. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna say why. Maybe I picked up a, a new thing, but I, I guess not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna go <clears> for <throat> trank trank kill on this one? I'm gonna try. It's not looking great. I'm gonna be honest here, Kev. Yeah, she came out shooting. Yeah, I mean, she's blasting. Playing around. So I thought I blasted. Her, her thing is that she steals your weapon and disassembles it every time. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. I also don't love that I have to do the force camera angle for this fight. Even yeah. though, like, the, the remaster has let me do this free camera uh, for the entirety of the game. Where are you hiding? Found you, Snake. Oof. You are not doing well health wise. We're coming back. We're coming back. I healed up. Oh, you know what I should wear? I don't know if it's sunny enough, though. Your naked outfit? Oh. Without healing. Can you wear the sorrow's face? I'd rather not. Psychological game, yeah. <laughs> What does the Saros camo uh, one do? Oh, I was just joking. Uh, I think it's like better stealth, right? I think it's for your footsteps. Yeah, that's sneaky, right. sneaky. Yeah, I, I think uh, this is probably the best armory or the best. Uh, I thing say go have. naked. Let them know you started naked. Oh. You end the game naked. You know mm. what I mean? You come into the world naked. You bum, leave bum, the world bum, naked. Bum, 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 bum. Put on the maintenance outfit. Try to seduce her. Ooh! Start dancing in front of her. Mike, am I sounding any better, less echoey in this room? Kevin, I can't tell any sorry. I, I think you are, you know. The last person to ask. I think you okay. sound great every day, Kevin. All right. no, Tam, I, I can are, hear are a you, difference. Are you joking or no, I'm no, 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 I can up hear a bunch a of, I'm putting up a like an obscene amount of sound paneling. No, it does sound a little it sounds a little denser. Excellent. I have seven right more panels. Door. Oh. Wow, that barely hurt her. Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. You're doing the stamina. Your stamina. The sta yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize. Sorry. 
That was my bad. I didn't realize the stamina. I, I had started like just going all, all out, like trying to shoot her and stuff, but. But you were like, no, not today. Today I fight the right way. Oh, the God. way she would want. Ah! Yeah, that really fucks me up. Yep. I love her guns so much. Um, Broken rib. Yeah, we just fix it really quick. It's fine. Yeah, it's just real quick. Pop it back in place. Pop it back in place. She's so cool. What? Come on. Ah. I don't know if that was the right choice to stand right in front of her while she shot. <clears throat> that seemed... I mean, I was trying to come up on her so I could shoot her, and it looks like I did, and then I was like, no, you didn't. Oh, I got it disinfected. Cecil wants to go outside, but I don't want him to. Let him go into the front yard with Boris, Boris the tortoise, and then just turn on the camera. No, he has the no dog cam cat. He has no access to the front yard like that. I can't take too long with this though. This is the <clears throat> this is the problem. Like I'm trying to heal up and then No, fuck off. Come on. Oh, no. Found you. She said, "Got you." I like that she shoots into the ground too. She's just like you. She's like, oh, "I'll shoot you on the ground too." Oh my god. Mama. You've gotten stronger. Ah! Fucking bullshit. Big shots. I don't love like how little his health has been going up as well when I fully heal mm. him too. I feel like it's somehow mm -hmm. slower. <sighs> Check your life, Medbear. Don't let them get to you. And chat, Still stop trying to get one, to him. Kid. You guys are really Still good at it. Still annoyed by that one, kid. Do you have any life med? <laughs> yeah, I picked up two this entire fucking game. Thanks. Get ready. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Oh, fuck off, lady. Oh, okay. You got that life med? Snake <laughs> <laughs> is dead. Let's see what you're made of. Nope. Oh, great. Cool. Family. I also don't love that I start off with like not full health either. That's, Heads up, that's not snake. great. And guest. Uh, okay. Splint, bandage. I think you, you can also use stun grenades if you have them. That's a good point. Don't know how to play. You know, let him figure it out. <laughs> I wasn't going to think of that, honestly. I know. Double standard. I hate it. God, Squid Games was so good. Did you finally so watch it? it? Did I finally watch it? Yeah, I watched it. It was great. Uh, Dude, I watched uh, it all in one weekend. That shit fucked me up. Mm hmm. Those I'm last episodes. Those last episodes. Intense. Dude, episode was it episode six, I think. The Marbles one. Fucking. Mm hmm. Sad episode. I called it right away though. I was like, oh shit, I bet you this is what's gonna happen. Mm. And Paul was like, shut up. And I was like, alright, you're right, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, man. Mm. You better run. Tuck and roll, dude. I can't believe Mike's got not here for this. Where'd he go? He had to avoid the squid game talk. He didn't want the spoilers. <laughs> nah, he probably went to poop. This mm. is poop time. All that poop talk. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing gets worked up. I <laughs> found Alright, 
Well, that wasn't the fucking run. You got. Where did she just drop everywhere? Oh, she dropped some more stun grenades. That's oh. interesting. I mean, she's being real helpful, if you know what I mean. Heads up, snake. I like that she narrates, like, what's affecting her in battle. Yeah. <laughs> mm. oh, so bright. Throwing grenades at me. Another interesting choice here, Tim. No music going on in the background. This is mm -hmm. like the second fight he's done that in this game with no music. Yeah, I love it too. All the other you... games had a bunch of music going on, which was interesting. Do you want a CQC kit? Wait, what? So, do you want a tip for the CQC? Oh, fuck you! Hold on. Fucking bullshit. What's the tip? So when she runs at you, she says, like, she says something before she runs at you. Mm. There's an exclamation mark that pops up over your head. Yeah. When she's grabbing you. If you hit the CQC button when you see that, mm -hmm. and then just rotate the stick, you will basically count a CQC. Gotcha. So try and aim for the exclamation mark. I lost her. Where are you? I found you. Dude, Mike, I love that thing you just sent me. Do you, do you like that one, Bless? That is fire, yeah. Now, is it better than this one? Really quick. Are you sending him pictures of your poops? Here I mm -hmm. come. Uh, these yeah. are the, the, the poops after solid. calorie mate. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like that one too. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, I'd rock that second one. Really? I just like the color of it though. You like the no green angle pop change. I yeah, the, the, the green direction on my fucking gun, and it doesn't hit her on the second one. Like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, there is a limit to how many times you can hit her. 
No, I know that, but like, yeah. Uh, yeah, and like this so far, the boss fight has been like I can hit her like three or four times or whatever it is, and on that second shot, for some whatever reason, I don't hit her. Mm. The fuck was that? Right. Try to space the shots out a bit more if you can. Well, this isn't the run, so. We'll try it next time. Yeah, maybe see if you can practice the CQC thing. Remember, Bear, you beat Cuphead. Yeah, you beat Cuphead. You beat Cuphead Liquidus. Has, Cuphead has solid. modern controls and doesn't ca change the fucking camera the, la the last Break boss yourself. fight, you know? Yeah, no. Oh. Uh, Bear, I'm gonna need you to enjoy this. Okay. <laughs> oh, right back at yeah. you. Countered. God, I fucking... Whatever. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. Fucking landed? <laughs> Brace yourself. Come here. Yeah, yeah, further. Getting, that was really it. fucking close. Really fucking. Yeah, the fact it. that this yeah. isn't taking you an hour and a half. Talking to childhood Kev. There you go. Good counter. Oh my god. It's really the just the fucking cam uh, camera angle that is like really frustrating. There you go. Uh, I gotta just in case I wanna re-equip um stun grenades. I also thought that you're going for stamina. It's pretty impressive. I shotgunned the hell out of her. I place it. Mm. Didn't stand a chance. I, she's more significant, you know. The other jabronis, it was like, alright, like I've I don't think I've ever I don't think Snake as a character has ever met these people before. Or it's like there's a little more emotional uh, stake here, you know. I like to think in canon, he's like, maybe I can knock her out and, like, bring her in. I like that. Yeah. Imagine this in a movie, though, Sam. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I always, yeah. I imagine it f all the time. <laughs> all the time. Have you done a casting for Metal Gear Solid 3 yet? Because I know you've done Not like, yet. a fan casting. I'm, I'm waiting until this. You, we finish it here. Gotcha. gotcha. I don't want to spoil it for people. Because there's a few people from the K KF community that there. Brace yourself. Ooh, level head with a great casting. Said Robin Wright as the boss. Ooh. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So Man. great casting. And like she like it's crazy how like she's aged perfectly into that role. Mm -hmm. Where she like she would look perfect and she could act it. And she could oh, act yeah. it. Ooh, Eva Green is Eva. Alright, we should stop this though, right? Hey, <laughs> stop stealing my shtick. Uh-huh, uh-huh, we should stop this. Uh, do you know there's, uh, three food items in this area that are very difficult to find and capture? Do you know what they are? 
No, what do we got? There's a solid snake, a liquid snake, and a solid snake. That's awesome. Whoa. That's great. Wait, where'd she go? Killed her. She laid down. I think you won. Okay. Huh. All right. I'm going back to emote only. Whew, the Patriot. We also got her uniform. It's just dope. Oh. Take this. Keep it safe. Oh shit. Girl, it's all good. You're just falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, I just strangled you a lot. It's our only hope. I wonder what that many tranks though. Bless, right? Like Oh yeah, yeah you start to see you start definitely. to see the light. You start to see <laughs> heaven. Why are you giving me this? Jack. Or should I say, Snake, you're a wonderful man. Kill me. Kill me now. Do it. God damn, dude. Oh my god. There's only room for one boss and one snake. It's like the Sith. One master, one apprentice. Yeah. Just like the Sith, you nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Are you in control? Am I? Oh, Tim, I need got... you to tell me because I'm gonna like fucking press you a button. You gotta pull the trigger. You gotta pull I gotta, the trigger. We gotta pull the trigger? Fuck, dude. You have to kill your mentor. One must die. There's so many cutscenes where people live. are like, press this, and I press it, and then we skip a cutscene. It happened one time. All right, calm down. It's happened like three <laughs> times. This is a big moment. You should. God damn. Jesus. Jesus. This is no mercy from Barrett. Damn, you could have let her live. I don't think I could have, right? No, I'm kidding. I, we had to do that. <laughs> no, you had to do it. It had to be done. Damn. Oh. I need you to fly it. Out a dick. Oh, her horse from earlier. I was about to say, where'd this horse come from? <laughs> oh, the horse is sad. The horse was the sorrow the whole time. The horse is uh, the, the final true boss fight, the horse. I'm sorry, uh, what? Uh, uh. Symbolism. Bro, there was actually a snake inside her? Ready to go, Snake? Wait, that door's still open. Close that door! Nah, it's fine. Are you okay? Snake? Yeah. Bro, you're taking off right now. Keep your eyes on the fucking road. It'd be way cooler if he looked oh, at her and just was like, call me boss. It was wet all along. 
I told you you could trust me. It's a weird thing to say randomly. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. What are we even missing at this oh, point? Oh, Jesus Christ, yes. dude. Oh, it's Ocelot! Young, dumb, full of what? Ocelot. Come. Mm -hmm. We're not done yet. Glad we always yeah. have to say that. Oh snap, he said we're not done yet, bro. Jesus Christ, man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hotslot made sure we're never want, leaving this. If you spot. wanted a ride, you could have just asked. He knew that was significant to us. Oh god. Too heavy. What? One person throws it off? Oh, because the engine. Okay, alright. Yeah. Gotta right, chuck him, bro. Gotta get him out of here. I feel like there's probably something I, I love like, the uh, attempt to make his like uh, clothes like flow because the, the uh, air coming in, but yeah. it looks so like yeah, yeah. it's just, it's just yeah. like back and forth. Very really bit rainy. Oh! Snake. No. Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Oh, it's music! God! I swear, every game has the ammo. Not good! Yeah, that was an interesting line oh, they delivery. Get, they're there. gonna die. They're gonna die right there. Nah, man. Yeah. They love most. If, Os if Ocelot dies, then it's a... It's a... Yeah, yeah it's a paradox. Yeah. They better chuck his ass off the plane. Oh, oh my oh. god, that was so sick. I love this back and forth, but holy shit. The never ending battle. <laughs> ah. Cool, I don't even that. have an eyeball. I feel that like that would hurt more, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, oh. that just happened. Like, yeah, that thing is probably still healing. Yeah. I picked she up probably a few burns new like crazy. Moves. Oh shit. Huh. It doesn't feel Guys, we're right still too to heavy. shoot an unarmed man. But I'll get over it. Eva. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh! I love this fucking game. That was incredible. <laughs> Easy. That was tight as hell. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What do you say to one last showdown? We don't have that much yeah, area until we right. bang into the side of a mountainside. Yeah, none of this matters. Come on, guys. We're all, all three of us are about to die. Crashing into the forest again. Eva's gonna have another fucking <laughs> tree branch <laughs> go right through her. Oh, but if the tr the plane were 180 pounds lighter, it'd be flying. Yeah. Oh. You think he's a buck 80? I bet he's a tight buck 60. Just a tight. Buck yeah. Buck yeah, 60. yeah, you're probably right. You know, he's just a light. You have to think about height too, though. You have to think about height. Like, how tall are they? Grab him in the dick. By the dick. Oh. oh my god. Oh shit. I was Which not paying attention. Which gun do you choose, bro? Oh man! Oh shit. 
Shouldn't have been talking. What's your name? Oh, shit. Snake. No, that's not right. No, that's not you. No. Not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. Mm. My name is Adamska. What's yours? John. I thought it was Jack. Very well. Yeah, it's called him Jack John. recently. That's John Doe. Plain name. But I won't forget it. You better be ready. Come on! Shit. Shit, man. Oh, God. Mm. Right. She's Correctly. Right. I go left. She's right. Always go Hold on. Right. I'm going to take a call. I'm going to take Never go left. Oh, I'll signal. He's like, oh, the button. The gun to move. The rotate slower. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> it's usually it. Wasn't Jack 26 someone saves. else? You're a psychopath. <laughs> wasn't uh, Jack was also the real name of Raiden, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, that's it, yeah. yeah. Jack shouldn't be a nickname for John. I'm just going to say it. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's dumb. Yeah, it is. What? I'm trying. Mm -hmm. is that, isn't that like what? a thing? Yeah, it's a Who thing. made that up? That's not a thing. That's a yeah, thing. John, 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 your name John, is yeah, John. Nobody's true, nicknaming yeah. you Jack. I mean, no, no, John isn't no. John also Pick Jim? One. No, that's James. Mm. Never mind. Have you lost your nerve? <sighs> oh, you went left. He went left, bro. Oh, no, no decision. Oh, oh, yeah. Left God. is always right, bear. You did a good job. Left is always right. Get the fuck out. He doesn't know what direction he's going. <laughs> He chose Ocelot's right, though, if you really think about it. I hate you. There you go. So he chose oh, right. Oh, the poll also said left. 56%. Only 43 people brave enough to vote. The rest on their phones. And cowards. You got it. Damn. Oh my god, that was insane. <laughs> Left is right. And an so... He used to be <laughs> Shalashaska. That's a nickname for Adam Aska. <laughs> it's a blank. <laughs> got him. Nice. nice. You still gotta get off the you gotta still get the fuck off this plane though, bro. I guess we're bros now. That was fun. <laughs> I love their friendship. Till so we meet again. I love this. John. Yeah. yeah. He just yeah. fucked up the plane and then just left. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? No. And then he jumped into shallow water. He didn't even jump into water. No, no, no dude, he that was going that, so that, fast. Like, he was going so fast. He's that, skipping like, rocks. Just yeah. skirt on it? Oh my god. Brian knows he's got a headache after that. That would kill him. Nah, he'd be fine. <laughs> is that how it works? If you just have the physical strength, that'll actually move the... I don't the... think it is. I don't think that's how that works. But I've seen a lot of movies represented that say, way. This happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah, in movies. Maybe like the like Gary's come on. jammed or something like that. One of the movies ever got anything wrong. Ask a pilot. Ask an actual pilot this question. Name one pilot. Don't rely on whatever dumb movie you watched last week. I've got a pilot's license. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Okay, well, is that how that works then? No, it's not. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I told you, Barrett. Weird. We're all just going to sit here believe him. Movies. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Always. I trust I've never once doubted him, yeah. Full, yeah. whole hard sure I did. It was a weird moment to laugh, by the way. I was going to say. No, I mean, are you kidding? They just almost died. They're like sure. five minutes away from banging once they put yeah. the autopilot on. Oh, yep. Yeah. Where we seat. killed her. Damn, is that horse still there? Oh, that horse is so sad. It's dude. Honestly, I, I did think uh, that the horse was in the oh, back of the plane. Don't. No. The horse was in the back <laughs> of the plane. too heavy. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. shit. The mix that she called. Oh, that's right. Oh, we're, we're good now, Migs. 
There's no way out. Guys, I'm boss it. now. It's cool. We've come too far to let them stop us now. I'm not entirely sure what the motivation is. Those like, what? What, what are they? What's their plan? It's no now? use. There's no way we can outmaneuver them. Um, like the ice cream man is outside. Oh, maybe to get the uh, philosopher's legacy. Like he's trying to get my attention, Mike. I don't know what to do. It's working. I'd go out there. Turn on the camera and go out there. I don't have any cash. That's the worst. I'm in love. When you're like, oh, this is a great opportunity to spend some cash. And then you're like, damn it, I don't have cash. Right oh, now. he's going to mm -hmm. tell her to go. Mike always has cash. It's the best thing about mm -hmm. him. No one knows where from, but he's got it. People are like, oh, Venmo me. It's like, no, I have cash. I'm a normal human being. Which one's Khrushchev? The bad one. Oh, they're calling the back. So you gotta leave. Look, the Migs are turning back. Were they about to fucking suicide? No. Yeah. They're gonna shoot us down. I thought. Well, I mean, like they were gonna continue flying, which would have caused them to get killed. So that was them being like, "I love you, goodbye." Bye. Oh yeah. Uh, not the Kodak. Oh, he really answered that at a moment like that, well dude? Done, Put your Smith. cell phone away. The MiGs disappeared. Yeah. Come on. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is, you made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. It was he one of the scientists? All the way to Alaska. No, that's the... I'm sending like someone the... out to Galena Base to meet what, What's the... Meet me. The and the president himself oh. are waiting at Langley. Don't keep them I guess a historic person. They're president. Oh, okay. 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 Prime Prime minister? Minister? Is, it, is it PM? Sounds right. I have no idea. Especially because, like, uh, wasn't the... Am I wrong? All no, yeah, During yeah. the USSR. USSR. Former premier is what they called it. Mm. Premier. Mm. Nikita is his first name. Uh... We're getting one more save, Kevin. Little Nikki. Oh, fuck, I hate you. I don't. 27. Let's go. Uh, just go to one. How cool would that be? Symbolic. But like, what if he needed that save, though? You know? <sighs> then he'd still have it. He wouldn't need the one. Kevin, imagine this. Like, what if I one day decide to do, like, a video feature on Metal Gear one day? Mm -hmm. And then you I know, have all these saves you know at different points of the game where I can easily go back to. Knowing you, that actually sounds like something you'd do. Not something that I'm actually doing, though. But you might do it. No. I don't know. I kind of feel like the best friends need it. God, they're not even in comfy clothes. They're just in their gear. So what are you going yeah, to come do? on. Oh, come on, guys. To the KGB. What do you want me to do? Did you ever think about coming back to America? I can't go back. I've left America behind me. Sad. But you saved this country. I didn't do it alone. And I still owe you a dinner. Is that part of your mission too? Or is it an order? Or is it an invitation? Mm. Hmm. Or a proposal? I don't take orders from anyone now. On a step. That's bold. Have you never done that? It's a waste of one. Good angles. Good leverage. Mm-hmm. Have they showered yet? <laughs> Chat, you're so funny. Yeah, there's definitely some smells going on in here. You know? You know? Oh, 
my God. Not Get now. A fucking calls. Bro. Not now. He's not getting answering. Answering. Getting he's late. Not he's getting. He's answering. Yeah. No. He's so no. He's not this man is on mission. the assignment. He knows the assignment. He's a legendary soldier. Oh! oh! In the fire! Let's go! Oh no, that's not good. The fires. The batteries. They'll explode. Chemical we'll poisoning. <laughs> They're on the other line. Like the boss is alive. <laughs> she <laughs> made it out. <laughs> They're coming for you. Over you. We have Russia. sent a we nuclear weapon. <laughs> oh my god, we're still going. Okay. She's gone. That we're would have been done. a great last uh, kind of scene right there. Oh, There's she's more to gone. give. There's more to give. I love that he's still wearing pants. He put them back on after, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of man that finishes like, up like, and puts his pants warm. on. No, and I think shoes. it's more of in case the something shoes crazy. Yeah, the shoes is fucking weird. It's because he has to be ready to fight. Weird old pervert. He doesn't need a shirt. He's already proven that. All right, this is important. Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. Oh. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden uh -oh. knowledge. Oh, no. Like you Forgive me, snake. Did she take the philosopher's Should've legacy? Should have boofed it. Always have known where to look. DVD. The straight up tape. Magnetic tape strips. I'm gonna play a fortunate song. Mm. Ow, ow. Good morning, Snake. I hope you slept well. First of all, I have to apologize. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. Shit. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China. General HQ, 2nd Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all The Metal Liberation Army? I tricked you. And I'm sorry. Damn, dude. That fucking hurts. Mm. She loves her motorcycles. The philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, my mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him damn i sneaked in by pretending i was eva and you and sokolov and volgan you all believed me the philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the u.s soviet union and china we couldn't let the russians and the americans take it all for themselves the chinese government had its eye on the legacy too I got the film containing the legacy. And also the nuclear missile launch data from the uh -oh. Shagohad. Nice. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandon easing, hydrogen bomb, and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the US and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan. Thanks to your help. I too am one of the philosophers. I'm an agent of the philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. I was raised in a joint US Soviet Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. This was before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native born American. So it didn't surprise me when you and Volgan couldn't tell the difference. 
Oh, he's still got it. She knew right from the beginning. She knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools, too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. Mm. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. She told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake. She wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy. And to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. That would have woken him up. But I can't do it. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. I just wanted you to know. And you have to live. <laughs> Wait, so she did she leave the legacy? Yeah, I'm confused about that. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. had it in his hands there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonder what's up. Oh, man. Snake, oh, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No. Far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice. Because that was her duty. Damn, it's rare that it, the first time we've actually seen like the team in person, right? No AIs here. It's Sully from Uncharted 2, shut up. I bet he's got some important things to say. You are above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. You are a true Fresh right bumper. It's not telling me to the. Okay, I can't remember if it tells you or not. I, I, just... I don't want to do it in case it like skips the cutscene. Yeah. No, it, it shouldn't. Just keep an eye out for it. There's I'll keep an eye out. I'll it. keep an eye out. Wait, is that not the president? Yeah, I mean it's the Oval Office, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, so smoke on the walls because everyone's smoking cigars. This is a different, I think it's a different voice actor for the president then. Because wasn't it Sully from Uncharted like at the beginning of the game? I don't know. That was like two years ago. <laughs> so long ago. We finally got it. Finally got the big boss title. I love the handshakes, you know what I mean? Everyone wants to give him a handshake. Someone like him to handle our top secret sneaking missions for us. A man who combines the qualities of a soldier and an agent. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the US government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. And the boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Vulgan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Vulgan's trust. Finding out where the Philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. 
Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. Yeah. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. And she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death at your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. That's fucking sad, man. Future generations will revile her. In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia, as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war Could criminal. we have just, like, said that's what happened without, like, actually doing it? And no one will ever it, understand you know? her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. Did emote only mode break, by the way? I think she wanted you, of all people, yeah, what's going on here? to know the truth. I think you started a chant. Oh, I see what happened. She wanted to yeah. live on in your memory. Not as a That's soldier. That's the salute. I see what's going on. As a woman. You can't just leave a gun on a grave like that. But <laughs> Seems safe. It's fine, Mike. It's fine. She Military graveyard. No, they'll pick it up in the evening. They'll pick it up at night. That's why she told me. Snake. <laughs> History will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story. Her debriefing endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. October 15th, 1964, Khrushchev is ousted from power. Brezhnev uh, becomes the first secretary of the Communist Party with a Kashgin as premier. October 16th, China conducts its first successful nuclear test in the Takla Makan Desert. Uh, 65, Sagan joins ARPA. He takes part of the development of ARPANET, uh, which would go online in 69. The U.S. government conducts, oh God, uh, Eva disappears without a trace in Hanoi. A paramedic establishes the nation's first paramedic system in Seattle, Washington. Major Zero disbands Fox. Uh, the United States accumulates the remainder of the legacy. Uh, something about the Patriots carrying on the... God damn it. It goes too, way too fast. 1972, the Les Enfants Terribles Project. God damn, dude! We know that one. We the sons of one, Big no. Boss are born, bro! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so good. Ah, oh, man. This might be DMC able. Okay. It's a fucking great song, bro. Dude, right, that yeah, last uh, sequence, uh, last sequence had big. Uh, if anything, we'll just delete the vod, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me. Dies, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna unlist the. I'm gonna mm -hmm. list the vod right now. So, you good with that, Mike? No, but yeah, that's fine, Kevin. Totally, it's going up on YouTube. Don't worry about it. 
All right, folks, that is the epic conclusion of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. It wouldn't be possible without all of you incredible kind of funny best friends. And most importantly, it wouldn't be possible without the awesome team here. Barrett on the sticks, running us through our first ever experience with Metal Gear Solid and our awesome panel of experts. Tam, a.k.a. Fox, Blessing out of Oye Jr., and my guy, Kevin Coelho, my best friend. Dude, that was there an is, epic There point. is more. Yeah, that's the great more you try again. Okay, I like that. We're not, we're not shutting down. We'll, that's oh, going to be Mike, the we still have conclusion. rankings to go yeah, through. Yeah, we, we got a lot. That, uh, that was very, very good. That was really, really good, y'all. Welcome back out of emote only chat. We love y'all. We missed you. And I, man, oh man, what a good one. I, I am just wondering whether there's certain things that you put together or not. Just because I wasn't here for two episodes, so I'm not sure whether you had Ask away, Tim. What, what do you got? Did you call Sigin and learn about... Did Sigin tell you the history of Ocelot? No, we barely, we barely talked to Sigin. Here, Ocelot was born on the battlefield. Oh, no, we might have learned that at some point. I feel he like had we... to be cut out of his mother's womb. Yes. Yeah, no, we, we did have that combo, I think. Okay. Does that sound we, definitely, the, we definitely learned about that. The, ru the wound left a scar on her mother's his mother's body. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ocelot oh. is boss's daughter, uh, son. Sorry. That's awesome. Really, that's super cool. And he, he has no idea, right? I oh, don't believe a, I don't think no way he knows. He was yeah. taken by the Patriots yeah. from the boss and turned into... Yeah, so uh, one of the things that I missed reading Charles Jacobs have put in chat, Barrett, it said that the Philosophers renamed to the Patriots. Mm -hmm. So there we go. We got the, the origin of uh, uh, the Patriots that we learned all about in Metal Gear Solid 2, correct? Mm hmm Yes. Which is weird, though, because the uh, at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2, they're like, the Patriots haven't been alive for a hundred years. And it's like, well, that's not true for, for sure. It kind of also Maybe. explains why Snake and Ocelot have that kind of relationship by the end. They're basically brothers. Yes, exactly. They had that bro moment is right where it's like, yeah, that's her disciple and that's her son. And like, you could feel that. I, I, I like that. I like that a lot. What are you doing, Steph, bro? <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's the main thing that you want to know going out of this game. All right, we gotta. I think we have to put so, uh, the chat in emo the chat again. I think they're fine. I don't know if people understand that they're refusing spoilers. And people are. It's not anything too major. Right. As long as chat uh, is chill. Remember, remember, Mike and uh, Barrett have not played any feature games, so. Chat, yeah. Keep it like you haven't done that either. We can, we, we can keep it out of it. Pixelated Soul asks, at what point did you know this was the origin of Big Boss? Because y'all didn't seem to be surprised by that knowledge. That was something that, like, uh, YouTube comments have definitely been confused about, like, or upset about. Like, how have they not realized that they, they aren't playing, or that they're playing as Big Boss? It's like, I feel like we knew from, like, the very yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah. I, think I mean, it's just like, going along with the blind? game. Like, they didn't Time pull out say it, but we, we knew, like, yeah. from, like, the first, the first stream, I knew it was Big Boss. Yeah, I would uh, say within the first one to two streams, I knew right away, right? Like, we were making the jokes of, it's Snake, we're having a good time after one mm. and two. But, like, you put the time piece of where we're at, and we have the understanding of what's going on. Yeah, we, we knew it was Big Boss very early on, for yeah. sure. Now nah, you didn't say anything, because we were going along with the events of the game. We weren't, uh, like, That's like, we were just, like, ha we were having fun on the roller coaster in the moment. It's like when they knew that Eva was Tatiana, they, like... By the time it was revealed, they were like, uh, this is a dumb reveal. We always knew. And it was like, yeah. We were questioning how old Snake must be. And so, yeah, because we were just having fun. All right, whatever. You don't got to explain to them that we knew. I don't understand. Because, like, even in the fucking menu of the game, it says 1960. So I was like, all right, so this is a prequel. This will probably be Big Boss. Like, No confirmation on who Iroquois Pliskin is yet, though, so... Okay, yeah, we Tam. still don't know who Indica <laughs> Jones is, is right, Tam. I, I have no idea. Shout out to Triumph, who makes awesome bikes. Calorie Maid is in the Hell building, yeah. yo! That's uh, awesome. That is awesome. I love you guys, it. You guys realize what happened there with the Signet at the end? Um, hey, he, joined, he joined ARPA? What, what yeah, the, yeah, it said in the, the uh, thing that he joined ARPA. I, 
Mm -hmm. I would. I don't. Mm. No, never mind. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Dude, and he helps gonna... create ARPANET. Yes. That's all I got. For he, now. Does. he does. He does. Shout out to Blue Point. Shout out to Blue Point, man. What are, what are they making? What are they making, Bless? What, what's they, that team uh, over there doing? Never, never seen original, again. Uh, never seen original. again off of this. Never they're seen making, again? They're done? <laughs> they're making a Demon Souls 2, probably. Oh, Demon Souls 2? That's terrific. Mm, mm. God damn. That music, man. Oh, dude, that dude, this hits, great. dude. Can we talk about the speech from Eva at the end? Because, man, like... Very Again, good. like I mentioned earlier, but we were talking. Like it reminded me, it reminds me so much of the ending portion of Hamilton, right? The who lives, who dies, who tells you a story, and yeah. that shit, like that shit, gets me my feels so much of like the, like people. I, I guess the idea of somebody who has such a great legacy, but it being forgotten because I mean, in this case, yeah. the government well, it, couldn't it let totally, people know. It totally um, rewritten too. Yeah. Of like what it actually was supposed to be and all that stuff. And That's that shit, like her passion for it. Oh man, that gets me my feels so much, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That good job, uh, big boss good job. of her speech was very good too. It was all yep. terrific, very good. Yep. Music was great in this too. I think music might be up there for the best music so far in the series. There's some yeah. really great music in this. Good. For sure. Uh, post credits, maybe. Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. I believe the White House will be satisfied. Khrushchev is finished. Your time has finally arrived. Yes, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. He's doing like the ring. Right, the... mm -hmm. Yeah, he's calling somebody. The old radial dial. Yeah. I'll order a chai latte from Starbucks. I'm going to get one. Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The philosopher's legacy is now safely with us in America's hands. Is it? With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. <laughs> Peking must be in an uproar right about now. I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Yes, that was the boss's work too. Speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Mm. Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple crossing them. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Of course, I'm always at the CIA's disposal. Mr. Director. That was hot slot, right? That mm -hmm. was awesome.
That was really, really cool way to finish that. Like off. a what? boss. What? Hell yeah. What does he mean? No Ooh. one knew. Panther is a dope title, man. No one knew he I was like Adam. That. Yeah, but like, is that? Did no, no one know? No, I was, he, I was no waiting one... for Barry and Mike to put that together. I thought yeah. you guys would have gotten it when he said that his name is Adamska. Adamska. Well, yeah, no, um, no, no, I was looking for really really Adamska. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Three titles. Panther. Gotta look this one up. You earned Panther this time, which is dope. That's an awesome name. Yeah. Uh, Nineteen killed. hours of gameplay, y'all. Not bad. It's really uh, clear the game with fifty or less continues, thirty-six or more alert modes. And 101 or more people killed. Oh, yeah. We killed a lot of people. Yeah, we, we killed, killed 169. Our river was very, very, right. very long, let me tell you. Yeah. Hell, yeah. We murdered people. Yeah, we killed 169 yeah. people. Yeah. Give us some yeah. other dope nicknames, Bear. What were some other dope nicknames from that? Uh, we got Yoshi. Clear the game having shaken, uh, shot all of the Yoshi dolls. Um, oh, yeah. Clears allowed. So, um, all right. All right. Um... Oh, uh, Tam, do you have any good ones that uh, you remember? I can't, th I can't remember what the other ones were, honestly. Can you can you go back to the main menu? Sure. If you're done with this. I want to see if it's got theater. New item obtained. You got a Patriot. Oh, mm, the damn. Yeah. That's, That's the, the boss's gun. gun. And a camera. Green face paint. Finally. Brown face paint. No National either. flag face paints in Oh, oh that's crazy. Cedo. Yeah. James Bond strap. PM and Ozcam Desert day. Camo. Unlock to download camo. What? Oh, oh look at that. Desert Tiger Camo. They had oh. DLC. Oh, my gosh. So much. Save. Yes. Give me one oh, more. Give me one God, more save. I hate this. Give him one I don't more. Know if have... You never know. He might go back. Have to get footage for some reason one day, but not, not going to do it. But you never know. Yeah. I was just using it as a, as a funny excuse, but no, I know, probably will never, never go never back know, to Kevin. this. You never know. But now you've said it, never and know. everyone expects it. I like that. After the Arkham Files, the Metal Gear dossier. No. Oh, Ooh. my God, bro. Go. No, we got different plans. Other exciting <laughs> plans, but nothing yeah. Metal Gear related. Because... We're essentially doing Metal Gear Solid in review at the end of every uh, single Metal Gear Solid playthrough. Uh, and we've got rankings. We've got a villain list to go through. Uh, we've got Metal Gear rankings and um, the rankings of the games themselves. Yeah, hit start on this. Or whatever, just get to the main menu. Yeah. Does it have secret theater? How would I know that? Uh, press just press start, yeah. Might be hidden in one of these menus. We got demo theater. Hit that. Oh, try special first. Basic actions and no, photo. Go back. Maybe try demo theater then. Mm. Oh shit! This is gonna be what I think it is. Yeah. Wait, did you ever explain that one character? Mm, yeah, tr tr hit that. See what happens. Go on. Guy Savage, that's it. What the hell? Is it this one? Oh shit, I didn't know about this. Oh, these this all is, the cutscenes. Uh, oh yeah, these are all the cutscenes. Oh, that's sick. Oh, oh. That's really cool. why, why are there blank ones? Hmm. I don't know. I think this. Um, oh, I think these are like alternate. Okay. Yeah, like uh, uh, Ocelot wind, snake misses yeah, so the can shooting. Uh, uh, can you watch uh, it? What, what's that middle on. one? No, I gotta like play through them. Who um, can I send? Who can I send a link to to play something? Me, me, me. Yeah, me. Okay, okay. Me, All right. Me, well, me. if we're. All right. There, I pinged our. Okay. I'm gonna move off of this. There you go. That was cool. What is uh? It's a hell of a thumbnail there. What? All right, Actually, wait, you... hold on. Not that one. Not that one. Okay. Wait. All right. Uh, I like the thumbnail of you, Kevin, and the one I put in there. I don't know what you're talking about. The one, <laughs> the one in assets when you click on it, and it signs oh, with Kevin Lord. with the milk mommy. <laughs> Oh, I see. Uh... 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah. Yeah. I, I, every once in a while, I'll go into assets and I'll see something and I'll be like, what could that mean? Okay, here I we guess go. I'll download that. Damn. It's a playlist <laughs> of videos. Uh, of videos? We've got to watch yeah. multiple videos. I mean, you can watch as many as you want. You can change your feet. If you could change your feet, where is you? Right capture. There it is. Ready? You can change your half future. minute video, Jesus. Take well, it like into that. your own hands, Jack. Or is it, we still got like rankings and shit to go through. So what about the past? Huh? What should I do about the past? How can I change that? You want to change the past? Well, in order to Point. grasp the future, the past must be. It's that guy. I have to beat him no matter what. And make that chair mine. The hell is this? You never seen this? No. Snake eraser? <laughs> oh, I this like is, it. This is official. They made this. Oh my god. He's going back like Terminator. Yeah, yeah. Oh, How awesome. Shit. Okay. That's funny. Don't look at his music. He's making he the awesome. character ah. in the next game. I've used a time warp to come back. To wipe out the fool that forced me out of my main character's chair. <laughs> and if Big Boss didn't exist, he would be erased as well. He wants to kill Snake if I get rid of Big Boss. Ow. Wait, what just did him? It was Snake coming down time driving oh. to the mission. You can't go changing the future like that. What an absolute nut. You've created a time paradox. Don't mess with the future. You have to understand the future. They get they do some real weird shit with this stuff. Yeah. Are, are we gonna watch the whole thing? Just question. You can skip through it if you want. Where am I? I like it. Let it ride. Alright, all right, let it ride, let it ride. I don't think I knew about this. I didn't you know seen this? Okay. There's so much good shit in this. Oh Jesus. Oh he's in the kid! Uh. <laughs> And they made this, like officially made this. Yeah, really? this is official. Yeah. That's what they awesome. released this. Like what? In what? I can't remember where Why? they released it. I think it's on like this a subsistence. It might have been subsistence. It was like a DVD thing that they released as well. That's wild. See, the thing I thought you were gonna pull up, Cam, was uh, the ape escape thing. And what should I find? Oh, okay. But a greasy free. Boot. But I don't know like what context. I remember playing the ape escape thing, but I didn't know what version of the game that was or how to unlock it. Hello. Cam, I still want to know about that guy. 
whatever. Back Savage? Is. Yeah. Hey, wrong guy! Okay, I bet. How weird his fan story is. Because he was like, all right, y'all hate it. Y'all hate it, right? Make a fucking video. Hey, you changed the future. Right you created a time paradox. Mike. I, I didn't... I'm gonna have to stop this. We, I, I didn't realize we have a recording. <laughs> Another one scheduled for two. Okay, well, we gotta get oh, the heck out of here, oh, everybody. Yeah. So, that will be the stunning conclusion of Metal Gear Solid 3. Thank you all so much for hanging out and having a good time. We gotta get out of here. So, we're gonna leave you with a fun cliffhanger. We'll be back to rank them eventually. And we'll be yeah. back to Metal Gear Solid 4. Mm. Unfortunately, you don't get that today. Bye. Bye. Jesus.